Well, you would be four warlock. Hello. How are we doing tonight, boys? How's everybody doing this evening? Welcome back, welcome back to the regular, regular. Hey, Dad, what's up, Puncher? Gonna be hopping back in that Venthyr Outlaw tonight. Trying to see if we can get some progression and uh, hopefully take down uh, your boy Anduin. We're playing a slightly different build though. What's up, Victoria? How you doing, fam? Hope you're having a good one. Yo, we are looking first of all at a... Um, this rogue has been upgraded. Keystone Hero, my first Keystone achievement ever of Shadowlands. Hopefully we'll see uh, Keystone Hero for Season 4. Briar, my man, thank you so much for the keys. You want to keep pushing? Because I, I had actually had a lot of fun. You got a lot of experience in keys. And I'm down. Like, if you need a rogue, yeah, I'm, I'm down if you want to keep pushing, my man. I actually like the keys a lot. This was really, really fun. I still have a lot of 20s and 21s that I got to do. Like, I don't have a Tirna. I want to get a portal to Tirna at the very least. But big thanks to Briar for tanking the keys with the Season 3, man. It's been insane getting hero. I want the streets you got. I can save it for you. That's all yours. That's not a my key. That's a little your key. It just ended up in my inventory. <laughs> Yeah, definitely, definitely. I got those 3200 this week. I could help out. I am free a lot of time. Uh, majority of the time I'm free is either on stream to push keys, unless I'm doing all stuff. But over the weekend, like Friday, Saturday, after stream time, I usually go get myself a, like a, someone to eat, and then I'm chilling. So if you want to plan something ahead of time, the earlier you tell me about it, the better I can plan around it. It's like if you really, really want to get some keys done, because so far all the keys have been like a... Uh, What's it? <clears throat> kind of like a spur of the moment kind of deal. Chat, this build for Outlaw this today is going to be a little bit different, by the way, for Anduin. It's a little bit different. So we are playing Weapon Master. This is different compared to Ghost Strike. Normally, Ghost Strike is the best single target, but we got Weapon Master this time. Apparently, that seems better. How many pulls you got this boss? V too many of any. Way too many. I am, I am ready to escape the Anduin hell and move on to other bosses. But yeah, <clears throat> it's crazy. It's 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 too many. It's like 300, maybe more than that at this point. Close to 400. It's a lot of pulls. It's maybe too many. Maybe way too many that an average guild is supposed to at this point. But we've also had roster changes that's been sending us back. So like you're starting to get comfortable. Some people swap out or some people uh, just quit in general. And then we have to swap out new people. So it's always somebody learning every single night, it feels like. Is it over Monday and Tuesday? Anytime after Sunday? Okay, so Monday I could do. Anytime after Sunday, uh, 1 p.m., Tuesday, 9 p.m. is probably best. Okay, Sunday I could do. Sunday I could be there. Yeah, just let me know, like, ahead of time, like, yo, can you do this day? And I can plan. I can clear my schedule to make sure I'm ready that day. I'm a lot better at either. <clears throat> like, sometimes I have time, like, spur of the moment, like, you know, popped on. I asked you if you want to get some keys done. We got some done. But in most cases, it's a lot easier for me to just, like, no, okay, let's do keys that day, at that time. As long as it's ahead of time, as long as it's not like, okay, let's do them now, I can usually plan around it better. This boss is not fun. It's a fun boss the first time, a couple of pulls. But it's like, the mechanics are, as soon as somebody makes a mistake in any P1, P2, P3... I guess we never even see P P3, so let's just go with P1 and P2 and intermissions. One person makes a mistake, everybody pays for it. And I feel like those bosses are totally fine for like, final endgame boss, like Jailer. Those mechanics, I feel like, acceptable on those bosses. But, like, come, you can't be punishing the rest of us when one person makes a mistake, man. You know what I mean? Like, I feel like... I don't know. That's, I don't know how the, what they could really do to make this boss, like, more manageable. I feel like the mechanics are designed, I think they wanted to be, like, you know, it's all or nothing kind of mechanics. Yeah, I, those bosses do get annoying after a while because it's like, even if you're doing everything right, this one or two people or somebody just inconsistently isn't always there, consistency wise for every single pull it definitely can be a bit of a um a bit of a hassle you know i don't know man i i don't know how i feel about it i just want to see you bosses after and doing i think i'm gonna have a lot more fun doing reggie with the regulon and doing that with mechanics or lords of dread and cleaving the whole time man i just cannot wait to escape this hell as soon as i can i'll be happy i'll be happy man but yeah 
we're gonna be going in as a Ventir Outlaw. Hopefully we get the cleave down, hopefully we get the mechanics down. Am I doing anything different? I can also unmute myself. <clears throat> or any of the mechanics. If it was last, yeah, last boss, I think, uh, final boss like Sylvanas, for example, one person makes a mistake, everybody dies. I feel that's totally fitting. If you just have like that one boss that just like, you, you, <sighs> yeah, I don't know, it's just, I don't know what to say about it, man. I just, I guess I'm yes, tilted at the boss. Just do then I think I'm we, tilted. We, Regulon got a lot of nerfs. Yeah, Regulon should be pretty yeah, doable nowadays. I'm just excited for like, so get a different like, environment at this point. Full like, I'm so tired of this time. room, I'm tired of this boss, I'm tired of the same mechanics. Uh, Hopefully we can put it together and see P2 a lot more often. Want, like, like, as long as P1 is consistent and we can practice P2, that's all we need. Because this boss can die when we hit P3. This is one of the bosses, like, if you get into P3, he's basically dead. As long as you can do that, fine. But yeah, I agree with you, Vinny. Like, if it was Jailer, like, it's a final boss of a raid, right? This is where everybody gotta put their heads together. This is, like, acceptable in that regard. Look, also be better for twos on playing with a double uh, DPS, Warrior or Death Knight. Probably Death Knight. Well, actually, both of them. I don't know. I guess if you play Fury Warrior, maybe you guys can just truck somebody down. I think a Death Knight, though, is a little bit stronger for the utility you got. Silence, Grip. Uh, stun you can maybe just blender people down, you know bl uh, Grip two people together silence the healer and just maybe cleave two players down at the same time I'll probably say death knight even though I think neither of those classes are amazing at double DPS compositions I'm right. trying to give him a milk and cookies Steven that's probably what I should do next time Maybe the Nando one will be more uh, lenient with us. Right Look at back down. What's up Laura? Welcome welcome boys <laughs> <laughs> So hopefully tonight we get it down we are playing oh, a different soulbind tonight. I'm so used to playing uh, Nigel. Yeah, I'm done for the night. As like the Take best outlaw soulbind and assassination. I'll, I'll but apparently Theotar is a lot better. <laughs> Baron Theotar with a party favors, anymore. together with Season so Shade, good. together with the Triple Condies, is really, really good. So, let's think about so we'll be all right, second. hopefully. Uh, who wants to be my initial CC on that? So my group one option. What the fuck <clears> do I have? Second group triangle. Uh, we haven't paused to do that previously. I guess I can have Coralius do it. With the ads, are we? Oh. Yeah. Or guess triangle heart CC? Are you looking for a uh, heart CC? Or are you talking like the ads, are we? It's done. Heart CC, yeah. So I'll do star and me on both sets. Circle, we do flame on the first, Izzo on the second. Uh, triangle, I think we kill first, and then we do Coralius on second. And then Diamond, we do Coralius first, and we kill second initially. I think that works. Yeah, that does work. Then I just have to fix okay, he's talking about CC in the ads. Good luck tonight, Dalla Paul. Hopefully we escape the Anduin Hell tonight. Hopefully we all escape out of this place and we can just enjoy some of the other bosses. Just, you know what I would enjoy? Just seeing a different, like, room at this point. I don't want to see Anduin for a while, man. I don't know why he is proven to be that difficult for us. But he is a pain in our asses right now. Also, if somebody can long boy, I would appreciate it. Oh yeah, can someone do that for me because I'm off server? There we go. Escape the hell. We're gonna try to. We're playing a different build, Paul. We're playing the... Uh, let me take it with the notes. A, a Weapon Master Outlaw, which right, is Jeff, weird no and different, together with a uh, Theotar. So we're gonna be down. sipping on tea, hopefully no. slamming Andy. Uh, Alright, just real quick too, so let me take a look at the Anduin for phase three one more time. So let's see our last one. And uh, I need a little Lion Mitch King thread in Discord. You are uh, if you look there's a picture, it's the second picture uh, from the bottom there. It says entrance and it's got a list of players next to it. Yeah. Okay, so you're pasta on that list. So you would be yeah, I think we're set good. two. 
But master and might give you the edge. <laughs> Honestly. So be the person running Literally. In the, uh, you know, into the, the but apparently it seems better. So round. I'm going to be... It's going to be surprising uh, because it's like easier range, to play. Sure. So maybe it'll just feel like a lot smoother You're overall. Like past all the jokes, it might feel uh, really smooth to play. Oh, yeah, Has a competent to win five healers no, a strat? Yeah, five healers a strat. Usually would have like uh, throughput healers, not really DR healers. Maybe would have like one holy pala. You're gonna but like holy priest stacking is perfect to find. Restages are really good. Rest of shamans are okay too. You need classes with CC. So like holy priest can do a lot of that uh, shackle undead CC. Yeah, so it'll be uh, warlocks. On, as many demon uh, destruction warlocks as you can get will help out a lot in intermission because they'll do a lot of AOE and a lot of boss dam. They, they, they're uh, them with infernos is just gonna be nuts. You also monk AOE stun. You need AOE stuns for the ads to too. So to classes like warlocks or yeah. monks are really like good there too. Like, like a mystery monk is really really good for this fight as well. In cap AOE stun. Uh, it's not bad at all. Hunters are really good here too because of traps. Rogues are okay. Warriors are really good. They do a lot of AOE. Hunters are really good for the biting shot because there's a lot of like there's a lot of CC in this fight, Laura, but also a lot of damage. So the damage profile is like you'll need to funnel damage into the big old monstrous abomination during like intermission and then into the boss the and then do a bit of AOE. Okay, Boomies are not bad for that part, by the way. Yeah, the AOE part, there's like part of Starfall and letting like the uh, ads get rotted. It's really really good for that. But besides uh, that, you need like funnel dam. Warlocks are really good at that. You need CC, AOE stuns, AOE CC. Warlocks are great for that. Monks are great for that. You guys will clear on each other. And then me and Daz will clear on each other. How many stacks is like the max we want to go up to? We're not going to do more than two at a time. You should the mog? Mine? Yeah. Two is the max we want. I don't know. We uh, some guilds do like a triple on the first set, but it's kind of dicey. We, so did, uh, we did three sets. Hopefully, that makes it a little bit easier to see what I'm running. Actually, you can three see splits. exactly what I'm running. Yeah. Yo, what do you think about getting like uh, just like mock positions? Just, I'm sure like maybe. Some uh, does the guild do all raids like heroic? If somebody sets one up, yeah. I think as of recently, Briar, we've yeah, just been kind so, of like grinding out mythic, right, and we is, haven't really done a lot there, of heroics so recently. Memnar, I'm sure once like the. Once the Rough season four stuff, or once the progression here, is done, we might start some heroics in order to right now, give some of our ults boss. in prep for season four, but not as of recently. Uh, I'm pretty sure now, once the prog is now, gone, we might do heroics as well. There's a good chance we will, but as of right now, everybody's just focused and everybody's kind of raid logging for mythic. And now you would just run into the middle. Yeah, just like that. And it's Cinema KSM? Your back Wait, where you what? Enter the, Cinema KSM? You mean AOTC? Right? So, if, uh, yeah, if you still need AOTC, man, if we do it in Heroic, I'll let you know. If you come in from Skull Angle, it'll come directly to me. Wait, <laughs> I think you got it. I get if you, we, though. Uh, my, yeah, uh, AOTC, boss, I get you. Can use this, like, outer layer. If anything, at least the mount for AOTC isn't going to be gone anytime soon, Briar. At least there's that, right? So the, like, you can still get the mount, you can still get the HTC. Unless you look for right, a season so, 3 HTC. So in order to have an easy time getting the season to 4. I just want people standing in their spots. Alright, cool. So then we'll go on to set 3. This is uh, Talk and Nick. All the damage on plus is better this batch. It has gotten much better, Brian. It's gotten much better. It's a lot more competitive. Go ahead and. I don't think it has the best AoE damage if you're doing like big giga pulls. But it has fantastic boss, like, like six target damage right circle, now. Like it's a lot better than so it used you to be. I just want to stand talk like at the point of this yellow <clears> triangle <throat> for right now. So I know you know where you're going. That would be good. All right. We'll go over to the four. Got to see uh, uh, since it's hers besides Crucible. Yeah, yeah, Crucible is the one raid that I don't blame anybody so for not getting it to see from. The tanks are that was like a little too boss raid, which apparently was really uh, tough back in BFA. But I don't remember a lot of people being like super excited for it. The gear from there was pretty good though. Skull and the gear from there being kind of nuts. Yeah. Hopefully in Dragonflight they'll do a lot more of those like mini raids though. Like really fun ones yeah. with cool mechanics. The like interesting gear from there. Uh, Alright, five spot is... I had you go to the left. That you can put Skull on the right. What are you talking about? Set skull. Skull is on the left of the bot where we start right now. So we're doing a little bit of planning. Alright, keep on. Yeah. Okay. 
All right, five, five spot. Swerp, yeah, you're in a fine position, but you're going to be the inside guy, so uh, field of base, come <clears> to me. So we're doing P3 oh, positionals. Yeah, so with three P3 yeah, positionals, you, you have somebody with the uh, blasphemy run this into the middle, get dispelled, and, and then behind them, there'll be like a little like shimmer of light shooting from behind them. If that light does not get caught by somebody if it hits the like wall, everybody takes a big damage in AoE. Fine. So you have to have a person catch it. Uh, what do we got next? We've got Izzo and Jash. So you guys are on the seventh spot. <clears throat> Look at my flappy wings, okay? Jash is in the right spot. Yeah, that's fine. And then Izzo, you would kind of enter like here. Try to see if we can find him a positional. Little Lion Lich right. King. Me and Orca set nine. And then, okay, who's left? Staff and Flame, you guys are the eighth spot. Let me take a look. You guys are in the right spot already. Good shit. All right, and then the final ones are Orc and Dal. And then me and Dex. So Orc and Dal, you guys will go to the right. Dal, you're in the right spot, so you're just going to block. Dal will cloak on you. Sorry, I'll come over here. And I'll just turtle. Nick will run on top of me, or Daz will run on top of me. So Daz, come over this way. Good. All right, cool. Okay. You guys got it? Any questions on that? Oh, and then one last thing for uh, blasphemy positioning. Where do, where was Pasta standing for the melee boys? Uh blasphemy. He was in range, I'm sure. Yeah. Can we pull up a real quick? Yeah, I want to say Pasta was like uh, kind of like what the star is at. He usually backs up okay, out here ish. Just, I'm just gonna check a replay. I just wanna make sure we give him in the same spot. All right, let's do this. Pasta, Pasta. Chat, are you seeing this? But I'm walking over here, like the game kind of like stutters. Is it me? Are you guys seeing this? Hold on, everything's smooth, and then you... There's like a little stutter. Okay, so... Yeah, Are you guys seeing this? Or is it just me? Looks like he was lining up basically right here. It's almost like a... Okay. Uh, no, there's a stutter. So it's weird, like it's just this one spot right here. Me, the way that we handle it. Does it here too? A, you know, a right next to you is that like a line, maybe? If you can, if you Does it here as well? You need a Graphics this glitch. This row here should always be clear for you to be able to run to green, and we'll call people to meet at green. Huh. So I think okay. what happens Let's is get, it's uh, like a um, oh, it's like a draw distance type of thing. It looks like you know how usually like the textures, sure the further you, you are from a texture, much. the you worse they look. One. Just to save like on the um, performance, but when you like get really close, the textures generally tend to get better. There's probably something in the draw distance causing like maybe a bunch of textures, and maybe at a distance to just like switch all at once, and that's causes this issue. It's a loading thing. It could be a loading thing. I think it's a draw distance. Let's say this is a line. It has to be a lot of distance. I think it has to do something with this whole area. Probably I get close enough in this whole zone, this all Maybe the textures, like probably like upgrade yeah, or something. Have fun. Has to be a low distance thing. It's weird. I never noticed it. I feel like they improved this fight a lot as of recently though. Like performance wise, you've been seeing a lot better performance overall. That's a weird one. All right. So if you guys are uh, in that kind of uh, this line right here, I guess it's like with the star thing. Be down this like this kind of line right here, and you're shuffling back and forth. And you're like, wait, why is my game all stuttering? <laughs> yeah, have yes, I have no idea. Come on, come on. We'll see how new one performance is doing. Hey, what's up, Rob? Right, yeah, still in our hell. Hopefully, we get past it. Go like Dal on our raid commence. Thanks you on the flip side, dude. Yo, good luck in your raid, my guy. Hope you guys got all the loot. Hope you guys got all the boss skills. Let me know how it goes. And the intermission is a bit shaky when we go machines. Yeah, honestly. For the longest while, even like the downstairs Kingsmore phase gave me a lot of trouble. In 9 to 5, it looks like they fix it. I don't know what they fix, but they fixed something on. recently. Shit. Just get in the mood, dudes. But we'll see how it goes. Talk to you later. Alright, Paul. Thanks so much for coming by, my man. Let me know how it goes. Let me know how your rig goes. Hopefully yours goes better than ours. I wonder if it does anything like that out here, too. And like weird stutters. 
No, it seems to be good. Weird. Alrighty. Yo. Please, let's have a good pull. Let's have our first good pull. At this point, I'm just so done with Anduin. So done with it. Oh my god. Oh my god, it's got really, really bad. I basically can't move. Otherwise, I stutter real bad. So this is new. I guess Anduin got new mechanics. Spread for blast on me. I need a yellow debuff. And come to you, man. Yo, that was some sorry, Anduin, man. I'll be having a good on my guy. By the way, if you guys uh, should get the music louder. Or we're chilling. Let me know if I should turn it up. Next this one too. Can pull us. Finish his barrier. And it's up to you, believe it is over, dude. Explorers Honestly, here, I'm so excited for him to drop. To left and right. Watch this be like the pull where we do it, boys. Just one pull and that's it. And we can just enjoy a new whole boss environment for the rest of the night. How nice would Teams that be? One, two, group. Get ready to go down. Careful not to pull people out early. Take us down. Pull us. The damage is a lot more consistent. Last for me is spread out. Okay. Get ready for intermission. It looks consistent even though it was the first pull I've seen all night. So far. This is where as soon as you say something is good, is doing well, usually things turn around all of a sudden. So hopefully we won't get the curse. Did you eat? Yes, I did. I did. I ate some spaghetti and pasta. That's why I'm in a different shirt, dude. I ate spaghetti so fast. I spilled a little bit on my shirt. The I was like, F it. down, but get to the corner. There, it's down now. Defensive. Please. Oh my god, I was gonna say, what if we don't kill it? How's that been? It's gotten a lot better, Robbie. We uh, got uh, Keystone Hero the other, actually today. As Outlaw. So, I've been feeling it, dude. I've been feeling my, I've been feeling myself, honestly. I was feeling a lot better recently. A lot better. Make sure you end me or tricks me this next day, Bomb. Watch the wall, go on the star. Follow the A bomb. Defensive. Please kill it. Kill the big bitch. Nope, okay. can kill it. Close. Okay. Close. Do you have a toe? Got some KSM. Huh? Thanks, fam. Yeah. Appreciate it. Let's go. Anyone wanna play Outline 9 4? Dude, I don't know if we'll play nine, Outline 9 4, but yeah. I don't know if we'll have a 9 4, but yeah, for sure, for sure. Don't jinx it. Exactly. As soon as you say something, it's always good jinxed. How's the prog going? Hopefully we make it out of the uh, Anduin hell uh, this, hopefully either tonight or this week, Tony. I'm praying, man. I've said my prayers. I pray to the Blizzard Gods. I've uh, I've uh, sacrificed $20 on Diablo Immortal, <laughs> as well as my soul. So Anduin has to die this evening or this week at the very least. 
season four. Yeah, season four is gonna be fantastic, man. I think it depends how the dungeons are, right? If it's a lot of big pulls, I'll look at them pumping. It's a lot better nowadays, Laura. It's a lot better. It's not amazing on pure AoE, because it's like Captain AoE. But like the cleave damage got a lot better. Single target is a lot better. It's like it's improved. It's pretty it's pretty good. That's pretty good. If this is my Anduin damage in P1, and that's gonna be my damage in P3, then Andy is dead. Yeah, they got a better monster than Soul Dam. Not amazing on uh, Remnant though, but you can't beat a Warlock. Boss Andy, dude. Anduin, why is he so... Why is Anduin as tough as he is, man? It's crazy. I swear to God, the plan for Anduin to be like a boss of his own raid or something. I know they just combine like Jailer and Anduin together. That must have been what happened. Had to buy some praying mantis as like pets. True, 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 true. I do. I do. I definitely do. I gotta pop on the auction house. Get it. Mythic? Yes, it is Callum. Hide him, by the way. It is Mythic. Necro Vented from the Plus and Outlaw. Either one works. You can either play uh, Necro Lord for big AOE packs or big AOE dungeons. Vente could do pretty well in Cleave. So if you're not really looking to do a lot of like AOE or want to have better like single target focus nice. damage, Vente could work pretty well. I don't even know how it's doing it. That wasn't even a hunter's mark. Yeah. You ought to shot though. Okay, who love you? No, I know. No, it's a it's a bug with Hunter since 95. It's not your fault. I disagree. He's clearly shooting with the bow. Yeah, it felt like it pulled when I uh, arcane torrented there. Ah. Uh... Okay, spread up the last one. If it's cash, it's the dead. It's a lot more consistent now. Things or at least more. it's basically back to where it was. In terms of consistency. But it's improved. It's it's better. Just know that every time that happens, a warlock whispers me and tells me to kill myself. <laughs> See, I just do it without being a warlock. Next one is second son. I got pulled holding. Are we like wrestling or anything? Oh, I got pulled up. Oh, we are fucked. <laughs> Why are you guys playing? <laughs> yeah, no, 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 wipe it up. Wipe it up. Watching the first set. Uh, wipe it up. Well, Nick's a perma upper, so we're so supposed to be. Can't hit him. We can't have four people. We didn't find him. <laughs> now Bob Balance Bliss praying. Yo, for real. Yeah, it was just a little, for real, like, for real. Yo, have you seen so the talents? Just, Laura, have you seen the really Druid talents like, for Dragonflight? So Dude, yeah, you guys are getting that uh, full moon. You guys are literally getting a full moon. As like a PvP as a PvE talent. Do you see? It's the one where it's like it's a Torghast power. So it's like every if you play into the shooting stars passive, which you don't have to pick up by the way. Apparently you don't have to play shooting stars at all as a passive. But if you talent it to it, you can also talent into like um, I think it's like orbital cannon or something, orbital something, orbital drop talent, where every thirtieth shooting star will proc a full moon on your target. Kind of hype, honestly, it looks so cool. It looks so much fun. It's fun in Torghast. Like, everybody runs in Torghast all the time. But now you can play, like, a dot heavy focus build as a Boomy, right? That's like, I know you can play with Boomy as a Necrolord, but, like, why would you, right? You can play Convoke and you just go, like, bunch of spells I, all at once. Or you play Carrion or Venthyr for, like, bigger damn. Like and, like, Necrolord is just, like, you put up Swarm and that's it. Your dots are a bit stronger. It's like, okay, that's cool, but, like, it's not it. interesting or unique. But, like, having your dots. Someone to start. Oh my god, I'm so excited! I'm legit excited! Dude, I was having fun like putting it together. I think the feral talents, I really hope they add some like really heavy Which bleed stuff to really amp up your bleeds. It's close like, to full moon as in Legion. Uh, Is it close to full moon as in Legion? So it's uh, full moon. Uh, Okay. I guess Laura so, would be able to help me. Laura, uh, during Castle Nothria, because I know everybody convoking had full moons. Are full uh, moons of Castle Nothria basically as hard hitting percentage is, wise if you're not, as like um, in Legion? Assigned to hit the ads there, uh, or just, not? Because I don't, do don't know if their power has like gotten better or worse over expansion. But I don't. Know, I remember they were like really hard hitting back in Legion, but that was like part of your artifact weapon effect, which everybody had baseline. I'm pretty sure full moons are pretty big right now. Like people would hit for 100k, wouldn't they? At least on Sludge Fist. But Sludge Fist also has like a moment where he takes like more damage for a short amount of time, so maybe that's help. I can't have him targeted. That's the that's what it's doing it. If I have him targeted when I am 
doing like torrent or any of my other abilities, it's pulling him early. Interesting. So I don't really know. Fair. Okay, okay, okay. Yeah, I imagine it should be as strong as they were uh, in Legion Tony, or as effective as they were in Legion. And spread for I don't know about numbers wise, but it should be pretty effective because I remember people getting really excited whenever they would proc new moons back in Castle Nathria. Kings more than one. I play what the raid needs it to play each patch. Fair enough, fair enough. Legion was fantastic. Legion was pog. It was huge. But they're super people for it. Yeah. The other were. I got bought up over Polly. Live, ma'am. Live. I'm fine. Can pull us. Oh. I think he's still in his port. Oh, yeah, we're missing two purples. It's done. Oh. He's dead. Yeah, it's over. Damages seem very slow down. That's stairs. strong, but I think a limited they nerfed dude in PvP so they no, can't proc, just... right? Yeah, in PvP you can no longer proc from combo. Oh, this it. would be hilarious when you would just get one or two of those doing combo. It literally one shot players. Because they did like 30, 40 K damage of pop. Surviving a new moon a full moon would just really really difficult. <laughs> but yeah, I'm so excited. They gave us a bunch of two common abilities, a bunch of Leagos. Like, yeah, they did. The they actually don't look that bad. Yeah. I think some of the combinations you can have with it look very, very interesting. Like, Feral Druids literally got nothing new. Boomy's actually like, got the Torghast powers that are new, which I thought would be really, really exciting. I mean, we came up with like 13 seconds to go on the first time. Like Night for a Mythic Pantheon, a full moon on the four bosses, yeah, that's so satisfying. Yeah, that's huge. Do you play like actual New Moon talent when you play Night Fae or do you like play Solstice? No, Solstice, Fear of a Loon. I'm so bad at Joy talents in general. Big yellow number, huge. The biggest reason you're up is just reliability of stun. Really, not, I'm not really worried. Or whoever it is, the point is that it, it's, it's people are other, everyone else is hitting the boss. That's the I think devs are having a lot of fun with multi-classes like Druid. Yes. Sound trees are blend them. Yeah, I think for Druids, they probably have the coolest like class talent tree because you could be like a restoration Druid and be like, you know what? Screw this. I'm a I'm a cat. And you can go deep into cat tree, pick it up like where your cat ability is crit. You get more calm points. You can literally pick it up like abilities to make it playable as a cat Druid. You could be like, you know what? I could pick up Innervate for Rage Utility, or screw it. I'm literally well, a cat. That, that was my <laughs> comment. That then New Moon is usually like the play. A, you know, the other Druid I played after. in Raid, Pure Valoon. Play Venti or Sudden Honesty. Okay, so it might be a little different then. I don't understand what the problem is up top. All right, we pull. That would sound like a really, really strange speech, by the way. I did not hear any of it at all. But it wasn't addressed to me, so I guess it's not that bad. Four, three, two, one. Four, please. Where's the most for Venti? Yeah, it's really, really good. But then why would you play New Moon as a uh, Convoke Feral or a Convoke Boomy? I wonder what differences there is like in terms of guides and stuff. Red for blast. Is it just for like resources? Or is it just better overall damage wise? Master Green, good. Come charges on any prog? Come changes on Yeah, come changes on Android Prog definitely make the fight a lot more difficult. Yeah, because then you always have somebody that's new, somebody that's having to learn to fight. Um, or having to relearn to fight because of the way we do it. Maybe we do it slightly different than what they remember. It does hurt any kind of progression, especially with the boss where it's like you got to make sure that every single play is consistent. 
and you get those people that have had like you know 100 reps and they just can't show up for whatever reason whether they quit was whether like IRL happens or they're busy you know it does ruin prog it can I think it all depends on your groups depends on people for us though definitely consistency has been one of our strengths as long as we don't have comp changes but changes to comps can definitely screw things up because I feel like I'm not really doing anything but like there's a warlock and there's a druid right and the druid has no idea the warlock is over there work usually puts a portal way on the left side but the guy has no idea that he does, puts a port there so maybe he's so used to running to the left hand side and just sitting there right for the blasphemies when you gotta spread away spread around with the circles so maybe you're just doing what he's used to Two. And that's causing a wipe, and then there's two people down. That means we have to go again, but nobody has to adjust a little bit. Basically, we learn parts of the fight a little bit at a time. And that could definitely be like. Oh. That could oh, definitely hurt. Right there. Especially if you're just trying to like make a muscle memory. I'm in the green. What's up, King? How do you man? Since we know the season 4 is going to be uh, out in a couple of months, when do you think we'll finally get the Dragonflight out? Sh have to be soon, man. Have to be soon. I'm hoping the Blizzard makes some big announcements. I mean, they're already putting out the talents. They said before the beta, they want to put up the, uh, the talents for classes. Uh, or before the alpha, they want to put up the talents for classes. So, they're already putting up talents right now, so... It's got to be soon. It has to be very, very soon. How you doing, by the way, King? Hope you're having a wonderful evening, guy. Hopefully you get to watch us uh, slam down Andy. It should be wonderful. Get past this boss fight. What's up to the big guy? Did you know Let's make sure he dies. But yeah, it's got to be soon, man. We got to be hearing something soon about it, because if they're already putting up talents, we got some souls. It's got to be almost here. Remember, big damage on the monster soul. Defensive. Let's kill it. Nice. I probably press event the ability way too late. But it just came up. I probably should just hold on to it. Yeah, this is gonna end up kinda of wasting the value. I still have 3k. Oh, I'm closer to uh, 122. Hey, that's not bad. We actually got 3k on stream early today, by the way. Yeah, you have plenty of time to finish up 3k this season 3. I cannot wait for season 4 content, dude. Season 4 dungeons are gonna be so fun. I'm ready. Remember the uh, Cyclone Diamond tank you can move over there. And born one group, get ready to go down. Nice. Kill off and just CC the ads afterwards. Ready for CCs here. All right, chat. Actual prog. Killing diamond. King's worn two. Get ready to go down. Remember not to break green. Tell the boss. You can. Okay. Go ahead and go ahead and murder this shit, please. 
Hopefully team two upstairs can do the thing. Uh, we'll need a recc in 30 seconds on the star. Looks like they're dead. Yeah. I think that I to the barrier. You died a hope breaker. Prague? Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, you had weird stars at the start, and then. Uh, that is a good attempt. That is a decent attempt. You got me fear yeah, to use night fear for AoE damage. Down. Yeah, you like it? Is it any good? Oh, Fury okay, gets, play, uh, gets played by Venthyr because it helps oh, yeah, ramp up. Reason, which I is the main. No, I did, but I forgot I wanted to run. gets played for Venthyr because it helps no, ramp so much. Which is the main of the game for Venthyr, but raw damage in a vacuum new moon does more damage than Fury of a Loon. Which is why Knife plays it. Okay, okay, I see what it is. Yeah, TikTok game. I think the, uh, Laura said Fury of Loon, not Fury of Spec. But yeah, I think you're right, though. If you're aware, I use Night Fate for AoE damage. Yeah, it's pretty pretty big. I gotta try it sometime. I heard, I've also seen that apparently uh, Prot Warriors as Night Fate work pretty well. Prot, dude, huge. Huge. So we're gonna come upstairs. I think they have the most fun when building a hunter tree. It must be hard to focus on two or three spells. Yo, I feel good. crazy. Uh, uh, it's a jab good. at every hunter out there, but honestly, I am excited. Hopefully, do some cool stuff. I think there's a lot of stuff they could pull from, from like Legion, from Azerite next, and Azerite traits. I feel like Beast Master could really move turn. This guy's so fast, dude. They're huge. They're fast. There's nothing you can do to stop them. You just gotta get the stuns. You gotta get the kicks. You gotta get a kick bot. Literally a kick bot. With like a PvP kick right, pot. Looking at star interrupt, we should put. Could have went inside Diablo. Right on the oh, dude, I, I paid to went to. I paid to skip this boss honestly and then if I could. Have probably followed up with Orc Morph, then into the melee there. How's Diablo? I have not played Diablo at all, Rob. I have no uh, clue. I'm just thinking, right? If like, but if anybody in chat has, you have one of the buttons to share. I want to have the tank and then a DPS. So you think the fact that already done both by DKs and uh, Droid Trees means Alpha is really soon? Well, they, oh, we don't know for time, certain, correct? King. All we know DR is that the they demon. said that they'll want to start releasing the early version of the talents yeah. to get feedback on them before the Alpha. Okay. Right, so, so I, I mean, if we see the talents come up that barrier, so that and they're getting feedback, like, we're uh, my only thought process is we should be getting Alpha hopefully six, soon after. Five or six if we're because I think them it. releasing talents is almost like them building anticipation, building the hype. First, but also it could be like Blizzard kind of like, hey, right, here's two this week. Game. How many classes do we have? Like 12 yeah, in the game? We'll so it'll be two week, two comes. every week. But I mean, if you Until just Evoker at the end with the new classes, 13 or 14. That could be interesting. So maybe it's like them kind of hinting at us like, okay, here's first set. Now you know how many weeks you're going to have to wait until maybe you'll see some big Dragonfly stuff. We'll see. We'll see what they do next week or this upcoming week. It's Maybe Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. And hopefully we'll get even more class uh, talents. I'm hoping to see like final ad, I'm hoping to see Paladin. Like I'd love to see what they do for Paladin. And I'd love to see what they do for like mages and warlocks and hunters, like triple DPS specs. That final Yo, what legendary do you like run for Outla? Sorry, I pick it up again. Yo, Lex, if you're gonna try out well, there's a couple choices you can play. So first of all, um you can play You can play Venthyr. Um, for single yes. target, it has good burst, it has good consistent damage, spirit, good cleave. That, you play really Conceal right. Blunderbuss as a Venthyr Outlaw. It's really, really good. It's a fun play style. It's very fast paced. Yeah, you can also play so. as a Kyrian Shadow, Invigorating Shadow Dust as a Kyrian. So you're basically right. going for as many vanishes as possible right, to reset the cooldown of your Covenant ability. And you got a lot of cooldown reduction with this one. This one's very, very fast paced. It's hard to play, but. It's interesting too, it's pretty good. You could also play uh, Necrolord with either green skin or Blunderbuss. Green skin is a little bit stronger for it. Um, or you could play Deathless Shadows and like Mythic Blesses too, as a uh, Necrolord. And you go for Vanish and then you do a bunch of spikes and you do Dim. It's really, really effective. There's a lot of lot of different builds right now. You have three good Covenants, everything but Nightfade. And you probably can even make Nightfade work some way, somehow. I haven't been able to yet though. I'm sure somebody out there must have. But Outlaw has a lot of viable builds right now. There's a lot of opportunity for like variety of gameplay. If you're a big variety gamer, Outlaw is the play right now. 
Got to get a lot of bursts. It's really, really fun. And it's effective in Mythic Pluses as well. It's probably the better single target option. Or it leans more into single target, where Necrolord leans more into AoE. Kyrian straddles that middle ground, but it's much harder to play. I need a purple. What the fuck? Wait, how did I die? All right, wipe it up, guys. Take it, take it slow with the blasphemies. I don't want to see wipe. For Thanks for the problem. <laughs> Go, oh, Jillian. How you doing, fam? Yeah, well, hopefully we'll get some progression tonight, boys. Uh, I had the white buff, and I stood there waiting for purple to come to me. How the heck did I die? I was just stacked with all that. That that melee group. It looks like a fucking mob scene, dude. Yeah, fuck. <laughs> I'm saying another gonna release Zagaflight March the next year. Go we'll much longer. Say, uh, Start the Alpha with June. That, that way through the year. Yeah, that I don't know. Please commit, because I was expecting you to be my clear. That's a great question. I have I don't know. I don't have an answer for you. I'm just gonna be honest. I wish I did. You know, I wish I had a guy on the inside of Blizzard just like feed me info so I can maybe give you guys at least a ballpark. Um they're saying if they're going to do at least more Dragonflight next year, they really can't wait much longer to start the Alpha because in June, they're already halfway through the year. Yeah. They did say that they're quite a long into Dragonflight, so maybe like they've been working on Dragonflight for a really, really long while, right? Maybe the expansion is basic already. They're just trying to figure out the talents and class testing and the content. But maybe like the zones are all done and Dragonflying is all done. Maybe the majority of the content they're adding to the expansion, they've been testing internally and it's mostly been done. We don't really know. I guess the only time we'll be able to sell King to get a better idea, because right now, anybody that says like, anybody that says we're getting in March, it's a guess. Caleb, I saw your message for a second, but I didn't get to read it in time before you moved it. But I, if you want to post it again, I can get you back there. But King, we have no idea, man. We, we, I don't think we'll have really good information or even a better guess until we see the alpha. That's right. We, we should hopefully be seeing it sometime soon. We should no, hopefully be seeing some kind long. of sightings on it. Every single week that yeah, goes good. by, every single Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday, maybe even Friday, is an opportunity for Blizzard to release something, or at least to hint towards something, or at least a statement about either one of those things. But we'll know more as time goes on. Patience is a virtue, I guess, you know? You can't really do much about it. This pulls it quick, but it hurts. Yeah, oh, definitely. Yep. Take me there, brother. I'm gonna call your dad some mean war if we don't get to P3 today. Wait, outside of Mem- or uh, outside of Memrock and Decrep, do we have no women in the raid anymore? 100% uh, sausage. Wow, this has been a long time since it's been like this. No, nope. you for yourself, I lost my horse in a long ago. <laughs> I would need a purple, thank you. Alright, King's more than one. Gig early. Okay. We're good, we're good, we're good. Okay. You can pull him then. Hangs up. You auto shot your own soul. Is that a wipe? Is that a fell dash? Yeah, that's, that's, right. that's a reset he's beginning. Yeah. <sighs> Alright, let's not, uh, go back to this blasphemy nonsense, please. I like the first two pulls we had. Yeah, I wish I could auto shot my own soul. Oh, one was back. Oh, while we were on topic of, uh, I, I don't want to get off the topic of Dragonflight just yet, chat. I want to talk about talents some more. Have you looked at the Death Knight talents? Dude, there's some cool stuff you can do with, um, I guess with Frost, it's stuff that I expected. Like, there's a uh, one side of the tree that leans heavily into Frost damage. The other side of the tree leans heavily into, like, physical martial combat damage. Obliterate, Frost Strike, stuff like that. Like, auto attack buffs. 
But I also was looking at the Unholy Tree, and there's some really cool builds there. So you can go like a full Necromancer build, buffing up your pets. You can even pick up Unholy Aura, which has been changed. It's not a PvP channel anymore. Unholy Aura, where your pets just passively do more damage to people. That could be really fun. Black DK get in the tier, which is quite hype. Yeah, the tier is becoming a talent, which looks really, really good. Crimson Rune Lego, yep. But also get in other talents too, like they have like a bone build. Looks like there's like a grippy build towards the tail end. And there's a vampiric blood heal damage build. So basically doing vamp blood, the harder you heal, the more shadow damage you'll do to everybody around you. So that could be really, really effective, right? You go big AOE pack, press blood, <laughs> and just heal a bunch as you take a damage. Just be like, healer, don't heal me. Let me heal myself. Don't top me off ever. And just go big AOE. What the hell? What happened? Something, something forced him. It gets bigger when you pull on it. Oh, no, something, something, 300 bucks. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Right. And on Holy, you have like well, an auto attack build too. Burn is like no, the I big auto attack build you can go for so with the uh, hunger and weapon. Bucks. And Not get a bunch of death coils back to back. I'm a fake fan. All I know is soft and wet like a velvet glove. You shut your fucking face. Alright, for the uh, four druids on this raid, I'm curious, at what age did you guys realize you were furries? <laughs> In the barrier, please. Kill this boss tonight and I'm, I'm a furry. How's that? Oh, wait, I don't have to admit it. Please. You know, it's like... Leaning in? Out? Yeah, leaning in? Posture check? In the fucking monitor. I am in the monitor, boys. We need a purple thing. Oh, that could be real bad. <laughs> we almost messed up. So let's face it, it's always going to be the best build for your class to spec cook, cook, cook cutter. Oh, for sure. Even Blizzard mentioned, like, is there going to be cook cutter build? Probably. Is there going to be opportunity for players to make bad builds? Yes. The idea is to bring back the talents and like, give players the ability to make a mistake. That's the whole point of it is, is giving the players the ability to make a mistake. Are there going to be like proper meta builds? Yes. But is it going to be opportunity for players to create their own builds if they want to? Also, yes. Yoinkies, boinky. You can't really have one without the other. And you know, I, I mean, I'm okay with that. I'm okay with trying builds. I'm okay with trying to make things work. Things that normally wouldn't work, you know, just, just give it a try. There's always opportunity for it, and maybe they'll work in very, very specific situations. But it also will give players the ability to play the game however they want to play. You know, I think it's awesome. Thanks, Warren, too. But hopefully, of course, I hope they do a little bit of tuning to make sure that the talents are at least kind of like competitive with one another, right? There's a lot of like options, a variety as well, in the various different builds. But it won't just be like only one build that's good, and that's it. Does that be know. really, really lame? If there's only like, one decent I'm build. Give me that shit, my pants. You? What are you doing? I'm backpedaling. He's moving. Still the barrier up. Finish shit. I need one need a perp. Oh, never mind. <laughs> I got killed mid air. <laughs> Was it Tog that tackled me? Gotcha, Must have been that. What do you mean? I ran into you. So Memnark and Ninwalk collided. Memnark and Ninwalk collided. Hey, that look, you doing okay? Do you have any idea how to get rocket that stash? Like, absolutely god. I mean, so I, I'm not really like a mustache connoisseur. I just have one. And I have good genes, so it just grows. But, uh, how to keep up. So, I would recommend getting, like, investing into, like, doesn't have to be expensive, but mustache wax. Especially if it gets in your face. Mustache wax helps get it out of your face and shape however you want to. I also noticed that, like, after taking a shower, after the shower, right? After you dry enough, it was tease it into place, plaza. tease it into position you want it. Usually, like, it can kind of lock in, at least mine does. It kind of, like, locks in more or less a, for a, a look I'm kind of going for. Not giving an absolute fuck what our throughput looks like and just go through the motions of the fight. Like, take an extra 15% of your concentration and focus off of your rotation and 
going through the motions of the fight. Like, if we come out of the second intermission and the boss is like 19% HP, that's still way better than what we've been doing up to this point. And we can dial in the damage later. They just should jump off and they slam down there. Yeah, somebody that's tackle me. The more I look at the town trees, the more Who ideas from my head for the builds and funky but stuff like I could do. Exactly, Laura. Like, I love the idea that there's a lot of um, it. potential. It is, we don't say, we, we can't really say for sure that this wipes, is really, really good. It would be a lot more fun, I think, for everyone. We can't say that all these builds are going to be good, but there's a lot of potential for builds. And the only one we'll know what it is when we try it. But, like, imagine a. It was Will. Imagine a perfect. Perfect like, scenario like, where all the abilities like, do exactly the same amount of damage and everything loot builds viable, like right? If they could tune it so finely, so, so many different people. builds, you could have a yeah, giga dot capable, build as a pumpkin. You could have like an auto attack death quote so build as a uh, death knight, unholy. All right, chat, we're gonna do exactly as the guy so asks. Good. Yes, for now. Tragedy. We're not worried right, about DPS, period, we're worried about mechanics, our mechanics. Ryze said, let's, worry, let's not yeah. worry about damage. I get a fire buff. Ryze said, let's not worry about our damage. I get a fire buff. I blame this on you. Focus up. <laughs> fire buff, dude. Are you kidding me? King's born one. Get ready. Heroic? Mythic. I wish it was heroic. We'd be out of here a while ago. Chat, am I, am, I, am, I, am I still doing 20k DPS? My damage hasn't stopped. My damage has not stopped. <laughs> Chat, uh, uh, my spec is still doing stuff. Chat. Oh, that one got yoinked in, didn't it? I can't tell if he got yoinked in immediately or yoinked out. Looks like a yoink. Uh, yeah, we're gonna be, we're gonna be off. Pull us. Pull us quick. We're gonna need, you're gonna have to really watch yourselves in intermission. Doable. It's doable. Oh. <laughs> yeah, it's just blocked me. Okay, yeah, it's wipe. Guys, with the blasphemies. I'm gonna blade for right, you. So I wish. Then, like if you're group one. Uncapped blade floor would be there, the tank that we need, or the town that we need. The boss is kind of in the like dragon flight. But people needed to clear on green. So like the correct. I have a mustache as well, but I can't make it look like yours. You kind of just gotta. So green, what helps a lot? To like the middle of the room more. The scream lover is Save the this. um. No one there. Okay, what helps a lot is getting the length for it. If you have a length, it's all about the length. The longer it is, yeah, the so easier it is to deal with. Will will have the boss. But it's short. It's a lot yeah, harder than it's longer. So you kind of just gotta let it grow. Just let, just, just gotta let it. It may look weird, and it's gonna have that awkward phase of growth. Cause it was for me too, but I just at some point like just stopped caring and let it get longer. And I was like, wait, it kind of starting to curl. I was just like, all right, I guess I'm just gonna keep waiting. I forgot what do you think about dude raid buff? Feels weird. Raid buff with oh, dude, I don't think it's a bad thing, Laura. It's a strong buff, three percent less magic damage, man. You guys are getting like a somewhat like a, a reduced value diva aura. It's so good! And crit is a great stat, and speed, death knights, and warlocks everywhere are in love with you guys. You guys are gonna be the best class to bring in a raid. I am, I don't know, I'm not against it, right? I'm not against it at all. I don't, I don't know how I feel about it, but I'm okay with it. Because that's, I'm glad that we're getting abilities that people used to have for the longest. Raid buffs were very, very common. You either brought a buff or a debuff. Maybe something the Blizzard could do is maybe add more of them, or more classes can supplement similar buffs. But like, I think it's awesome. So we go for druids, but for the most parts of the raid buffs, yes, yeah, it's a, it's a, it's a, it's a, it's awesome and gets exciting as a druid. But in terms of like the whole overall game and the idea of raid buffs, I don't know. It's it's a tough it's a tough call. I, I personally, I personally celebrate the happen the the fact that druids are getting a buff above we used to have. I'm personally celebrate the fact that we get abilities we used to have for the longest time. Personally, but I totally understand the whole like raid buff meta. Guys, that's gonna be a headache. If they can maybe find a way so uh, multiple classes can affect certain raid buffs, so the raid buffs are more focused on flexibility. So there's almost no way you can't have a raid buff. I think it'll be fine. Or if every class brings something unique, something interesting to the table, then 
It'll feel a little bit less of like... Feels bad, man. You know what I mean? It'll probably feel not as bad. At least you bring someone. I don't know. It's a tough question that I haven't really given much, much thought about before until now. So I don't think I'm really in a position where I could answer it properly. I gotta give it some thought. I missed the fucking portal. Okay, I'll be alright. I'll be at my damage, anyways. Bird? Oh, that's just. It'll be hilarious if it brings Ziamba toxic <laughs> doors. Dude, that'd be interesting. Ooh, I got up that'd be hilarious. Like 35%, I think. Scroll 0, 0.0, oh, maybe. Oh, maybe they'll bring back scrolls because then it won't feel as bad. I think scrolls yeah, will probably fix it too. It. Right? Because you want to be able to be like, you know, you won't be able to cover the buffs you don't have. So you guys repair bill. If you like, what have been fine? Had to crap. I don't know. Yeah, I, I, I'm seeing the ads literally. That would probably fix it too. I remember we having stop. scrolls and we're kind of okay. And dropping to five or ten percent. You know, it's like, man, we don't have to worry. At least we got a scroll. It's not optimal, but it's better than nothing. Because okay. right now it's kind of a big difference, right? It's either five or nothing. Because what are these buffs? We didn't yeah, five or nothing. Anything. It's the same number of people. That's the reason on that set. I know. Because it used to be like ten percent or seven percent, two percent difference. Now it's five or nothing. We're new to the game, but I'm starting to feel like I'm leveling an alt. All yeah, go for it. Currently playing Fury, and I kind of enjoy the simplicity, so especially melt. being new yeah, to I mean, MMOs. Like Any classes that are similar. I think you should check out... Um, really. That's I think you should check should out... Doing. You're the ones to stop. Nick, Nick. Nick, just save all your damage for the last 20%. Don't front load, if you can. If it's still an issue, I'll just there. Sorry, I'm just listening to mechanics. Just do back. And the banter. Gamers, I'm pretty sure we're private logging. Who the fuck is? I don't. I don't think people are doing it to, to like pad to try and parse. Somebody killed an Antorus and Vigil Mahomes. Like, 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 like big number yo, or, that's or huge. Just, <laughs> we Imagine, dude. Imagine. Uh, I would say like a Demon Hunter are fantastic. Havoc Demon Hunters are awesome. If you enjoy Fear of Warrior, I think you'll enjoy Demon Hunter. Also, pretty simple. Not super like crazy. Uh, Hunters, I think, are fantastic, too. I think if you start, like, with Beast Mastery, it'll be at least a nice starting class. It's a range class with a pet that can take things for you. It's super, super convenient. What's another class would you guys recommend? Chat. What's another class would you guys recommend? He did 137 total. I've heard Enhancement. Enhancement is also really, really fun. It's a little bit more, like... I think as an old, when you first start enhancement, it's pretty it simple it to begin with. But by the end of it, by the time you hit max level, That's it's quite button heavy. So if you enjoy simplicity of like a, if you enjoy the simplicity okay. currently of a, um, a Fury Warrior, enhancement does get a little bit like busy with buttons. If you like Fury, definitely Demon Hunter. Yeah, definitely Demon Hunter would be one of them. I think you would enjoy Fury. I would level one. You know what? I would level one. If anything, level Elemental Shaman too, if you're like a caster, because they don't have too many buttons there either, really, as Elemental. There's some, but nah, not really. Well, yes, actually, what caster would you guys recommend? Because I've been recommending, like, Melee. <laughs> what caster would you recommend? What's well, a good caster that's like very, very little, but Frost Mage. I think I would enjoy Frost Mage. They're very, very kind of straightforward. Ben is fun. Yeah, I appreciate the help, guys. Yeah, definitely give Demon Hunter a try. I think you'll enjoy it. Warlock, really? I think Warlock would be that. Okay, War chat saying Warlock, so look, Destro. <laughs> okay, current Destro, I guess we'd do it. So yeah, Warlock would be one of them. Okay. <laughs> All right. <laughs> uh, it's, well, it's once you get your max level, once you get like your tier set, which has gear with bonuses. This gear comes with a two piece bonus. So if you have two pieces of tier, you got one bonus, four pieces, you got all bonuses. And the current build they got going on, like, it kind of like it, it simplifies the play style even more. There's a lot of buttons, but you basically end up going into a dungeon and you'll mostly spam this button called Rain of Fire. It'll just basically shoot down riot fire from the sky. And you'll summon this Infernal. It's a pet that you summon. He crashes in, he does fire damage. The more you Rain of Fire, 
the more infernals your main infernal can summon, so you'll summon more. Infernal generates your resources, which can let you rain a fire more often, and you basically just like drop them down and you just spam one button in some cases an AoE. And you do all the damage in the world. <laughs> yeah, two buttons. <laughs> Guys, I'm even. No, seriously, Duster would be pretty good right now. I think. Like, out of all the Warlock specs, Destruction would be one of the easier ones, I think, to pick up. Demonology does a whole pet setup and pet build, Affliction is dot management. Not super crazy, but it is a little bit more like... There's a little bit more like timing about it. Destruction is like, you chuck out big chaos bolts, maintain a fire, and then you have a filler. So outside of the build that you play, people are playing right oh. now, hey. that would also work pretty well as a hey, caster. Destro, Frost, Demon Hunter, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll give those a try, but once you start like getting more comfortable with those playstyles, like... Definitely check out enhancements and stuff, but just level enhancement like when you have free time and you're like, you know what? I don't feel like playing my fewer work today. You know what? I don't really feel like playing uh, any of the other classes. Start playing a little bit of uh, enhancement. Like at the very beginning, it won't give you too many buttons, and you'll 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 be able to, I think, hopefully, like learn and figure it out. Because you'll get abilities little by little. Like it'll introduce it to you very very slowly. So then your rotation will become a little bit more complicated than when you start off baseline. But hopefully it shouldn't be too bad. That makes any sense. Keep green fair, good. It'll ease you into it. I guess is the best way to put it. It'll ease you into it. Like the game will. But it's really fun. Like once you pick up enhancement, it's one of the more fun melee in the game. In general. I think it's one of the objectively more fun melee. But that's also because I played like previous few expansions and I didn't really like what they were doing with that spec in BFA, or... I guess I didn't really play much enhancement back in Legion, but I didn't really like the... the artifact weapon for them. Artifact Please weapons in Legion, uh, to get more context. Yeah, artifact so weapons in Legion were basically like a weapon with like... it's think of like Towns, but like you had those on a weapon, and they gave you like other bo various bonuses. And also they all would give you a lot of specific like... spec-specific power. So for shamans it was like they for eight seconds every one of the hits will basically hit a second time. And a passive mechanic called one fury. It's like a mechanic Games unique to enhance with shamans. Two. Get ready. Basically you could proc it. So normally one fury is like it's a random chance where you proc it, but here's like with the legend you could be like, okay, I want eight seconds of just raw burst, and you could just force it. It was really, really good. I didn't really like the playstyle because it just changed the way that it played. One two. They were very similar to Fury Warrior, where you would use abilities to generate you rage, and you, similar to rage, it was like it's called a maelstrom, but it's basically function the same. And then you would use abilities that spend your rage or maelstrom. Cool. Now they're more cooldowns. Now they're more like close to Arms Warrior, like there's a rage bar, but you're very very specific about cooldowns. Like you know how the execute is like on a six second CD. Think of like all your good abilities are basically execute CD, in a sense. That's the best way I can explain it. <laughs> Chad, how, how'd I do? <laughs> Ellie Shamans? I think Ellie Shamans are a good starter. They're based pretty straightforward. Like, after playing one a little bit, they're not super complex. Like, they're definitely not easy, but they're not super complex. I think they're um, ranged with a bit of a quirk to them. So I don't think they're like super simple like a mage or a warlock. The quirky is the best way to describe them. They're not bad. They can be really, really good. Defensive. Destro is easy. I love it. Yeah, Destro is a fantastic spec. I, 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 didn't th I didn't think that many of you guys would uh, recommend them as much as you did. But yeah, Destruction uh, definitely would be one of the specs to recommend. Well. Currently, they're really, really good. Please. Defensive. Go. So the theme up. There she's he's there. Come on. 
blasting this attic green. AOE incoming. That I died real quick. Real quick. That's Stargus. Salter. King Porn One group, get ready. Okay. I'm waiting. I want to stun this guy immediately. Okay, we got a kick, which is good. Nice. I got pulled out immediately. Finish his ass down here, we're okay. We need stun, we need CC. We got stun, which is good. No more stun. You can pull us. Oh yeah, real quick, real quick, real quick, real quick. Ah. Uh, oh, that's a fucking tragedy. What issue was it? Stun. Let's jump off. Yeah, it's over. Why are we still cool. having problems with the crap coming Oh, out? man. Unfortunately, I think the amount of really clear is similar to Fury Spam into a button style, it's like more mobility. Yeah, it's a lot more mobile. They have a lot more mobile. I have a hard time managing Shard's and Destro, but I don't have any tier yet. It's gonna be a lot easier once you get tier Reaper. Shards become a thing of the past, or managing them becomes a thing of the past. Oh, that's a good point. That's a very good point. Just to reiterate for that one in particular. It's pretty uh, cool spam. A bunch of, of Howling Blasts are definitely a different there, play style. Like yeah, Frost, I guess, could be pretty easy to get into um, to some degree. Kinda, I'm not super familiar with the Dual Will Frost, so I don't know if I can recommend so the Breath the Build Frost. But yeah. Do you know it's simple okay. to pick up? And squad the depth and see maximize the damage. It's, it's the same thing. Either yeah, way. demon hunter like is pretty, makes, pretty, pretty easy to get into. One makes the meter look bigger, and the other makes like, yeah, like whatever. Well, it's just one's better at single target. That's all. So Speaking of little link, how do you uh, feel that Blizz making the dragonfly that you go from future to sixty okay. uh, before being able to go uh, to dragon isles, not having to play through shadowlands leveling? I'm actually okay with it. I'm actually fine. I've leveled through Shadowlands way too many times in my alts, and I'm glad they could just go through Legion or something, or whatever expansion they want to play. Like, even players an option to play through Shadowlands, because it was like, you know, not a, not a worst quest and experience ever. I just think I've done it way too many times now, so taking a break from it, and just being able to go through whatever expansion I want, and then head into the next one, I'm okay with. Uh, hopefully they keep it like, hopefully they'll allow you to basically spend the same amount of time leveling as before. So hopefully they'll just like the amount of XP you need. So it's roughly like a similar leveling speed. Or faster. And hopefully not slower. Uh, also catch me is even hundred good. Yes, that trinket is really, really good once you pick it up. Hey Del, uh, I'm watching for three weeks in a row. Let's get it down tonight. Twist the stash. Crack the knuckles, tweak the mouse DPI, and let's go, my guy. Yo, I'm doing exactly that. I don't know about the mouse DPI, just because I'm super, super, uh, super anal about like uh, PC setups and like DPI. If that changes, I'm basically a lost cause. But everything else will do. How you doing, fam? Yeah, I'm hoping we escape this Anduin hell and just move on to greater, better things. I'm, I'm ready for it. My body is ready. Every fire on body is saying, let's move on to better stuff. So trust me, boys, I'm there with you. I'm the same boat. We've been here for way too long in this fight. In this bear? Tonight, boys, I'm not focusing on DPS. I'm just gonna focus on doing damn. Um, Off center, a bit <laughs> was I about? To, I, I'm not gonna finish that sentence. I'm just not gonna finish it. I was about to say something dumb. Today, I'm not gonna focus on my DPS. I'm just gonna focus on doing damage. I'm not gonna focus on doing the highest DPS numbers. I'm just gonna worry about mechanics, get my kicks. That's more important. This fight always has been. I want to add. Oh.
Which I hit the right target when it were possible too. Let him pop in a sippy cup here, because there's no point of not. Oh, okay. Oh, I'm dead. Unfortunately. Cash. So cash is a uh, trinket. It's a. Uh, it's called the cash of acquired treasure. In the current raid, there's this okay. like a uh, broker boss that you fight called Zymox. And once one of the weapons he drops or trinkets he drops is a cash of acquired treasure. This one has a synergy with the demon hunter specifically because the the trinket will rotate different weapons. You can see the weapons as a buff on the top right. This is only for like when you hit max level and you're raiding. Well, I guess if you don't all PVE, it's still good in dungeons too. It's a trinket you should be looking out for. But basically, a trinket will rotate a different weapon and you'll see it in your buff bar. It'll be either a wand, it'll look like a wand, a sword, or an axe. The wand, when you when the trinket, when the buff shows a wand, when you press the trinket, it'll then shoot a wand. And the wand just does like a lot of damage to your single target, like you'll see up here. So if I press the trinket now when I'm fighting the boss, I'm gonna get the the sword buff. Which the sword is like a stack and haze buff. You just get more stats every time you hit it. Not the best buff for any of the classes that use it. The axe is really, really good because every time you crit, it puts up a bleed on the enemy. Demon Hunters, whenever they use the big I beam ability, it's a 100% guaranteed critical strike chance for it. So you get the axe, you I beam big, and you stack up this bleed really, really heavy. And then all your other crits also add up extra bleed. So the axe is really, really good for that Hekash trinket. But that's like, that's to worry when you hit max level. Is it best? I think it's best for a lot of the melee. Uh, at least for rogues, I know it's really good. And for demon hunters, I think it might be the best. It's really cool together. And even if you don't, like, even if you start leveling the character now and you feel like super, super slow at leveling, don't worry. This trinket is also going to be there for season four content too. Whenever we get into that. But it's really good. It's energized as well because of the uh, the crit interaction and Demon Hunters having like a guaranteed crit element about him with the I-Beam. It makes it really, really consistent. Because if you get it lined up, I think the best situation would be to like... To get the Trinket, pop it on crit, I-Beam the mob, then you metamorphosis on top of him. That activates Demon Form, making you hit harder. And then there will also reset I-Beam at max level. So then you basically I-Beam, metamorphosis, I-Beam again and it just stacks a gig of bleed. Can reset I beam? Yeah, 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 for double I beam. It just becomes really good. On AoE, it's also really good because that trinket will hit anything in front of you, and I beam will hit everything in front of you. So it's exceptionally useful on AoE as well. That bleed, it does damage fully. It doesn't matter That's if it's fair. one target or multiple targets. So if you get that trinket on AoE, it just wrecks. It's just incredibly, incredibly good. It, also pretty good for rogues because we stack quite a lot of crit as well. Just natural in our gear. So one of our better stats. I will need a purple. Kings one one. Someone who will beat it. Yeah, in AoE it's just nuts. The problem with that trinket though is the three minute trinket, which is kind of long nowadays. Most trinkets I've seen as of recently have been usually like a a two minute trinket or 1.5 minute trinket. So that one is really valuable, it's just a three minute trinket. So it's like a big all in. Which can make it a little bit more difficult to play with. And also like having to wait and try to... So sometimes you just will not be able to synergize that axe buff with the trinket. And you like With cooldowns, like let's say you're waiting for your I-beam, but then... Trinket is available, and you kind of just have to wait to sync it together. There's a little bit of that correctness about it. Watch these stars. Things worn too, get ready. That's kind of bad in AoE, the two lore, like on the Subrogue in particular. The Subrogue could actually hit everything with a. Uh, Shirk a tornado, but it just feels like pad. I had a speed boost for that blast mason. I think it was slow ripping up. Polis. Nice. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Do -do 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 -do. 
Got it. Okay. Try hard. Only one man. I guess they'll probably do the same on the next expected of Dragon Isledale. Make it from 6 to 70, go into the next one. Yeah, I imagine so. I imagine so. I'm hoping Dragon Isles ends up leaving such an impression on me to remind me of like Legion Man. Because Legion leveling was so fun. I feel like I could do Legion leveling as much as possible. Uh, like, non-stop. I loved Legion. I had a lot of fun that expansion. Another expansion I could keep going back to. Like, out of all the expansions to level through, I could just level through Legion all the time. Pick it up the artifact weapon. Go into the Covenant quest lines and unique class stories. I enjoy that stuff, man. It's like there's a little bit of variety every single time you do it. No matter what class you play. Oh, okay. Make sure this soul dies. Please kill it, please kill it, please kill it. Ah, oh, it died. Okay. I thought it was gonna. <laughs> it looked a little close, chat, wasn't it? it? Looked like it was cutting a little close. You're a brave one, Will. Beautiful. The fucking two stackers. Oh yeah, easy clap. Mm -hmm. just it just you only Hunter mentioned a couple of times. Originally, okay. yeah, originally we were talking about it. Um, oh, but it never came up to anything. I think in the end he decided that me staying rogue was a better choice. Just because I don't have to relearn the fight on a sub rogue. And now that Outlook got buffed recently, I think there's even less of a reason for me to even think about going out of spec. Because these Outlook buffs are significant. Like, this spec has been improving a lot. It's been better in Master Plus, it's been better in, in general. Nice. Come over here and just in case. Don't bring the crap up early, please. Missed a solar beam. Oh, it's a wipe. Missed a solar beam. What happened? Missed a solar beam. That's what I have been told. Alright. Go again. Is your hunter geared? He is actually geared. My hunter is actually pretty well geared. Not as geared as my rogue, like 277 item level, 280 in my bags, but well geared for sure. I guess I could have brought the hunter in for the AoE damage, but we got like how many warlocks now? Four? One, two, three, four. So plenty of AoE damage. But the boss damage as on Outlaw has, has been significantly improving. It's been getting a lot better. So like that damage is going to be valuable in P3. It just it won't be amazing for like killing the ads and maybe like funneling during intermission. But like in P1 and P2, it should be pretty good there. Generally, I think if Outlet did not get any buffs or if Rogue did not get any buffs whatsoever, then I think would have maybe swapped me out for like a survival. What's your favorite hunter spec for PVE and PVP? I would have to say survival. I've been enjoying that a lot. But I've always enjoyed like the melee hunter playstyle. I think there's some fun you could have with MM, some of the cheesy one shots that you can do double tapping with uh, either rapid fire or with uh, aim shot. That's super fun. Beastmaster is also very very effective in PvP too. It's just, it's just really strong. But for AOE, like PvE and PvP, I'd probably just say survival. Because I love survival and mythic pluses. And survival is also really really fun. It shines in PvP. Like that hybridness of melee and range. Really sh like it's really apparent within PvP. I guess the best way to say to put it. In the barrier? What? Fuck! 
me. Gross. That no, oh, that is that bad. is just one hundred percent my bad. Unfortunate. I'm really excited to see what they do for hunters for their talents though. I'm hoping they that Beast Mastery gets some of their um yeah. Azeroid traits. I wonder how many Azeroid traits and legendaries are we gonna see on there. My statement to be Imagine this fight without any add-ons at all. What are you possible? First girl was speculating. This fight, I think it is possible without add-ons. Because the only add-ons mm -hmm. I really have that help me are... What add-ons do you even have that actually help me this fight? Wild Spirits, nope, maybe a talent? I think Wild Spirits team. could maybe help. No, uh, yeah, that could probably be a thing. Wild Spirits, I think the Flate Shot could, could be a too. thing too for like a kill oh, shot build. Me. Maybe. If any ability, I think it would be Night Fae Me. Uh, has to do with hell. Like, like an AoE side anyway. of the tree or something. For some oh. of the specs. Or all of them. Just wants to hug you. Kyrian could work too. A resonator could be really, really Sorry, fun. I'm six foot four and not buff. Can I hug you? Glad. Uh, your name start with Dol Dizel? No. Uh, That's actually a great question. They have Convoke for Night Fae or Convoke for Druids. And they have. Um, they have Convoke for Druids. They have the Necrolord buff for Druids. And they have the Necrolord Grippy Hand for. Uh, Necrolord Grippy Hand for. What am I trying to say? Necrolord Grippy Hand for. 5-5, five, five, Talk. What are you, an extra in Lord of the Rings? What's going on there, dude? Need to get you some Tom Cruise lifts. For Death Knight. Actually, they also have the Night Facing for Death Knight, don't they? Not quite the ability or the strength buff, but like the cleave. They are a place for obliterate, too. You know what? I didn't think mm -hmm. Yeah, I just had a really bad brain lag, guys. I'm wondering, like, if they added those co uh, covenant abilities, like the Night Fate for Druid, Necrolord for Death Knight, and, like, Necrolord Swarm for Druids yeah, as well. I, should, I, should I wonder if they'll, like, right? if all the talent trees are going to have a covenant actually, ability. Because the Death Knight, like A Bomb Limb, it's iconic. Convoke, iconic. Swarm, actually kind of useful and pretty useful in PvP. Actually, like, a fan favorite for PvP. <laughs> Oh, yeah. But I wonder like if they have one for rogues, because I don't think uh, any of the I'll covenant abilities were real like iconic for rogues. Like Sepsis, Night Fae, Assassination was really cool with the tier set. But it's not like it was like super iconic either. Kyrian kinda works for Outlaw and Sub. But I wonder if they'll do like iconic ones only. <laughs> I wonder if every single class is going to have like some sort of a covenant I, ability I in there. I find the dating pool to be more cons more conservative on Christian Mingle. I don't know why. Alright, uh, get the barrier, please. Spread out. Spread. Swark, you can tell him I said that too. I did, right away. Okay. We're, we're dying. Being <laughs> sworn one. No faith. Oh. Oh my God, no. Holy shit, I thought they're gonna die. Alright guys. Never. <laughs> That's a that's a bros situation. That is not a bros situation. I'm not sure what happened. I don't even know what killed us there. There was a wipe early. So the Undertale Asgore theme just came on. Yeah, it's laps. 
It's a great, great song, but as I'm listening to it, the only thing I can think of is the Kanye West like fingers in his ass song. Excuse me? Because that's the uh, that's the underlying beat to it. Huh? Okay. I need both songs for context. Okay, well, I'll cue the first song in the jukebox, then I'll cue Kanye West on the I don't want to listen to this gross head jukebox. The song I'm talking about is playing now. Well, we part of mine. I'm a true y'all. This song's ass cheeks. Here, take your time with blasphemy. Try to make sure I don't run into anybody. Means more than one. for me. Is the bear still up? I don't see it. As Max would it say, is up. please turbo fuck the boss. If it is up, then I don't see it. We get second dips. Shockwave. Sloppy in these seconds? It was so much easier with Weapon Master. Remember doing this fight with a uh, Ghost Strike? And I just felt like I'm always like trying to maintain that ability at all times. And it just felt like such a hassle. This is Why so much easier. Pull us. Help hit these ads. Yeah, okay, we got them all. All right, we got into P1 or, or out of P1, into intermission one pretty easily, unless we die right here. Now we just gotta see intermission one, then get into P2. Do P2 really, really clean, see intermission two, somehow live it, and somehow just accident the fluke and kill the boss at P3 on the first try. And then just be out of here. That's all we gotta do, boys. That is all we gotta do. Easier said than done, but it should be doable, right? I believe. For now.
blue. Kill the big bitch. Oh, we don't have really bad walls right here. Good forge. Good wall. Good wall. Defensive. Nice. It's a song. Oh, what is it? I was saying the same shit. <laughs> hey, it's a banger, dude. I'm into it. What? I have no idea what it is. I heard him say Shaquille. Watch the stars. Watch the stars. Is the underlying beat to this simple plan? Like, how did this happen to me? Things more than one, get ready. Watch your damage on these hits. Yeah, I'm just single targeting this thing. I'm not even playing Blake Flurry. Good. Let me this ad here. Yeah, I just use it for my. Okay, I suck. Uh, live. Uh, I'll get you, death. At least I lived it. That was really bad for me. Get hit by that star. You can uh, pull us. Oh, they got a lot of dudes out here. Finish the barrier and swatch the stars. Ready to CC here. Get Ral up. Finish this barrier, guys. Very, very, very. Is that a barrier? I'm gonna see in one. Can we clone this? In interest on this, okay. Don't instant break the thing. Stars! Good chat, this is it. Frog. I'm gonna be aggressively hitting these ads. Just in case they're walking. Oh, you're dead. Oh. Didn't get a stun, didn't get a stun, CC. There's no miss a stun there. Oh, oh man. He's doing fucking fire too, except for that. Damn, boys. That's a tragedy. We're doing okay too. Unforge. That would have been like a P3. Because we definitely had the DPS and we had the CC on the sads just fine. I'm not sure who's supposed to stun there. Dude, look at these warlocks, man. Chaos Bolt and the Infernal just doing so much damn close to It was, Fridge, it was. We just need to get in there a lot more often. Because there's some kings there. that we gotta we fix. Nah, dude, we were, we were balling through that shit. It, it was good boss Mad position. Mad spicy. The movements for the kings were yep. tight. Very, very spicy. More like Lego. Mm hmm, mm hmm, mm hmm, mm hmm. Yep. Do the same shit, just let's get that stun, and then we continue with our interrupts and CCs, and we see P3. And What's he at? Look at find him. Nah, no, just if you if you miss it, you know you know who we are. That's really good. Make an, make an alert. Do, 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 do. Oh, chat, no mind. You know, I said I, we have four Warlocks tonight. I lied. Apparently, we only have three. I don't know who we're grabbing. I guess we got two demon hunters. Okay, so I guess we got two DHs instead of two warlocks. Interesting. I wish I had that. Mm hmm, mm hmm, mm hmm. Yeah, it's a really good weapon. Even a heroic version, I heard it's really good. The Versa buff. It's also survivability too. Like versatility and movement speed for Warlock in particular. I mean, I guess they don't really need versatility. They're pretty tanky naturally, but the movement speed for sure. For sure, for sure.
in this barrier. Running for Blaspheme. Things more than one. I gotta make sure to get my flagellation burst going here in a bit. Careful of those ads, boys. Can you yoink? We'll go back away. Really get Van doing the anteater here. The what? Anteater. You suck them off your eye with your blood, man. Come on, keep cranking. King's Warren 2, get ready. I feel like we've done this fight so much, I, this is just all say muscle memory. A lot of these parts of the fight just turn to muscle memory. Like, I know exactly where to go, where to be. Mob boys. <laughs> <laughs> like I'm just expecting these blue puddles to just in certain positions. It used to be like, oh, move as fast as possible. Oh. Now it's like I feel like I just stay on them for the most part, and then over the last minute. Oh my god! Don't scare me like that, Mr. DK. Sorry. Do 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 Alrighty gang, let's live this part of the fight. If we just live this, we'll be okay. Get into P2. Get into P2, Kingsmorn 1, or Kingsmorn 2 rather. Defensive. Oh my god, that bleed is ticking over for 36k. That's huge. That's massive. Oh, wall, wall, wall. Got another really bad wall. Sure we finish this monster soul. I swear to god we get way too close with that nowadays. I don't know what it is. We're definitely cutting it. Oh, it feels oh, like close. Yeah. I understand where I'll be able to hit the ad and the boss, my cleave. Blade Flurry, uh, try to remove my Blade Flurry buff, remove every other buff in the world. One, two. Get 
Okay, that could have been bad. Normally he doesn't get that cast at all. But then I had a kick ready. I'm surprised okay. I didn't kick it as the stun comes out Dude, from the Death Knight. Can pull us? Ready to get your interrupts here. Okay, chat. We gotta just pipe the ad as best we can here. Pump him as hard as possible. And this is out. Are we trying to go down? Don't need to break stars. Okay, yeah, that's really up to them, man. Okay. At this point, it's up to them. So for the best. So let's add, guys. Run through. Cross my roar. Watch these stars. Watch these stars. I can't Break see us. Oh. Is that a hair pull Yeah. Yep. Pull, 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 pull. Quick, quick, quick. Everyone. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Fuck get in. Get in. Get in. Get in. Get in. Get in. Good. We need to beam on star. Beam on star. No way. <sighs> okay. No! We're doing kind of That's okay, yours. but we gotta uh, get us uh, out Devin. earlier. Okay, that we definitely gotta get us so out good. earlier. Okay, at least we made it past the uh, okay, King's Mourn 2. Need to I know, right? Wait, 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 wait. Actually, hold on. Am I, am I crazy? Here? Sad? Yeah. But it's supposed to be Izzo, and I've been CCing yeah. it because there, it has been reliable, and I can't re CC it there. Yeah. Oh, okay. I don't know. Mm -hmm, Crazy. Mm -hmm, I have it in my own mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, yeah, you mm -hmm. see which one you gotta get? Yeah, you should put me on the first CC vote, not the VCC. Well, we can't, because you are the stairs. Okay, well, never mind then. You just haven't been reliable, so I always do it regardless. No, that, that's the one I usually VCC. I just forgot the hell. Yeah, we just need to make sure it's our Sad, control me too. There. But otherwise, it's very good pull. We can do it, though. We're getting closer. Every single pull is getting a little bit closer. It's just a step. It's a baby step, right? And maybe it's like a... We basically had to go straight to, like, we were just doing pretty good through raid. And now we're, like, uh, taking that crawling baby steps, man. But you got to take that baby step. Eventually, like, past this boss, it's going to be, like, freedom. The only other freedom is quitting, but I ain't quitter. <laughs> You know what? I'm actually gonna sip. I'm literally gonna press sippy cup in the barrier. I don't even care. Damage? Who cares? Utility. Self healing. This, that's what rogues are known for. Self healing. I need a purple. I'll get take. Okay. Oh. That's a lucky. Go again. Every now and then, I think we're Damn gonna do black for me, and then we're fucking. <laughs> and our whole side was black. Oh my god! Wait, it's a light debuff or a shadow debuff? No, I said it right. Hmm. <laughs> First, might to get that song on recording. That was great.
I used to try to get in late. Yo, I know it's late for you, especially as a you gang. Thank you so much for coming by, Laura. I appreciate you, fam. Hope you have a wonderful evening. I'm gonna be here, slaving away in Anduin, hoping for that lucky, yes, lucky sir. pull where we just slap and just move on to greater, better things, to greater, better bosses. Thanks so much for popping in, fam. I appreciate you. Hopefully, we'll see you tomorrow, either for a regular stream or for another raid stream. Hopefully, there will be a on a different boss that's next time around though. He's one one. So that's everybody gets so low with that dot. Shadow word doom, domination word pain. Uh, I could help maybe a little bit. Barrier, 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 barrier. I'm inside. It's I mean, it's in me. Are we good? Do we get it? Please tell me we got it. Wow, way to get sexual. That's weird, bro. It's a rainy line. Oh, I'm a priest. What can I say? King born too. Any gators? On two. Uh, not really walking, is it? Oh God! But for some reason, his grippy hand did not grip those guys that time. Dude, it's so weird. Shadowlands like, made That's Necrolord right Grippy Hand like so, I guess, iconic in a way to the Death Knight abilities. You two meet. Let's it's go. Crazy. Watch them, watch them, watch them. They're good, they're good, they're good. So glad it's continuing to the next expansion, man. Because imagine playing Death Knight now without that ability. It's so difficult. Damage where he treats you. Okay, let's go. Yo, no, no levers. No levers, my guy. Let's go. Huge. Now I'm 113 of the. Uh, yo, you should do some keys with us. Yo, King, if you're going to be doing keys tomorrow, me and Briar and Espy have been doing, have been doing keys together recently. We pushed in 3K and we pushed the other day. Hold on. Can I show? We got 3K today. We didn't time a uh, uh, DOS. We missed time to DOS by a little bit. It's just score. So it was massive. Espy also got his uh, keystone here as well. Star. It feels so nice. You just feel like you're done with your condies. It's so nice, man. I feel like conduit should have been easier to earn from the get go, man. I don't know. That's awesome, though. Yeah, the streets was good. Did you get anything good out of it? Oh, did you, did you hear that they actually nerd the uh, tank chicken from that place? What it's not as good as it used to be. It used to be like Biss, like a little bit for tanks. Nowadays, it's like, it's kind of mediocre. Ever since the nerfs. I'm not super specific Ooh. about like exactly what part of it got nerfed. Why it became bad. But apparently like, from what I read, Again. it's not as good defensively and it's, got, it's not as good offensively in comparison anymore. Like, if you want an offensive trinket, it's probably better to get like, an actual offensive trinket. If you want a defensive trinket, there's probably a very better choices than that. That's awesome though, my guy. Happy for you. Hopefully that's how the rest of your keys are. Just a bunch of 20s. Don't worry about it. CCs are the name of the game. Yep. Murder this ad. AOE incoming. Oh, <laughs> 
coming. Throwing a purple. Kings one one, get ready. You back in the barrier here? Watch your damage on this headset. Yes, please. Okay, I have ready with my kick. Be as ready as I can be. Okay, cool. Plenty of damn. Oh god. I got pulled out. Just keep going. Just keep going. Keep going. Use a personal if you have to downstairs. Do the thing. Oh. Careful with the crap. That's a little too yeah, early. Yeah, it was way too early to call that. Work yourself. Barrier, barrier. 1% health, fine, 5 yeah. can be dicey. I've called it a 2 before and regretted it. Mm-hmm. That's fair. Let's go stun it, just so nobody has to worry about it. Because I have a stun for the next one anyway. Don't break him out yet. Good stars here, guys. Easy to see. Okay, we're gonna pop evasion and cloak. I'm getting kinda low on health. I should see fine. Might be a case for tomorrow for a bit? Okay, okay. If if the regular boys are down tomorrow, they can maybe ask him. Tomorrow, I think uh, Briar said he... M I don't remember if Briar said he'll be able tomorrow Briar's or what. Off sensor, please adjust. Well, let's just hold. We busted out of that really quick. The chat, actual prog. Focusing. Big focus up. I said... Give me a cooldown, 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 cooldown. I'm like following a whole bunch of other things. CCs here, re CCs. Get a beam, get a beam on that ad, please. Get a beam on that ad. We have to kill Star. Get a beam on it. Big turbo damage here. No beam for next ad. Okay, get Dal. Can you kidney this? Good. Beat his ass. Beat his ass. Beat his ass. Beat his fucking oh, ass. Yeah. Oh yeah! Oh, it's a mission, boys. We're only two right, down. Yo, actual prog. Actual prog chat. Wake up. Again, we're gonna have less Wake up. damage on monstrous. Sword. We're gonna have we less damage. Have either. So again, we're gonna need big damage. Because people are down. On this first one. Yes, big Plan damage on monstrous soul. Two. We'll see how it goes. Yo, wake up, boys. Actual prog. Actual prog in tonight. We're two DPS down. One of them is a warlock, Everyone's so that's uh, big painful. Bad, big bad. Killed Good. it. Good. So now we're just trying to see if we can burn Andy as much as we can. Second ad, we can just we're take it to the side two, if we wanna. So just plan to do it again for the second. Go to star, go to star, go to star. Back to green. Who's Swark's partner? Uh, Okay, second set of ads. We just gotta kill the ad. Just have to nuke the ad. You can either nuke the ad or you push the boss. And if Andy drops down to like 19% or something like that, then he breaks him out of this. Big ad, big ad, big ad, big ad. Big ad oh god, ad, please. Oh, he died. But we have people dead too. Wait, Paralysis is actually okay. Kill the little guys, kill the little guys, watch your feet, finish them up. Alright, everybody stack here at green, stack at green. For this first hope, we need a link. Link, 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 link. For first hope breaker, let's go, 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 it's coming. Every CD we have for this. Incoming. Okay, get to your spots. I'm taking Swork's spot. Spread. The base, you're just gonna need to sack yourself away from the raid team. I don't have like, lock up come down. to me, Dal, come to me. Or forever come to me. I don't have it, so just sack me. Fine. Keep going. You guys are fine. Okay, I see how the catch Next mechanic works. Clears, you guys can go, do the catch. So that's how clears go. Clears, that's how clears work. That's really not bad. Wait, that's those clears are really not bad at all. Uh, go ahead, pop me. I have CDs. Everyone should be stacked on the boss at this point. Stack on the boss. Wait, chat. Could we actually do this? Watch this boss. Boss at thirty percent. Can you take boss? Yeah, just watch. So these here, guys. these stars that are bouncing now, they're forever bouncing. If you have they're bouncing forever. Also. Nothing you can do about it. They're just bouncing. We're gonna need CDs for this next hope breaker. If you have personals, make sure you're using them. Good rally. Yep. 
So the, right through the raid. Watch out, right through the raid. Marks. Roll, roll, roll. No, Marks. Spread, 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 spread. It's fine. Same thing, guys. Just keep, just do your clears. Yeah, too much clear there. But keep going. Just keep going. Uh, Comain, you don't have anyone with you. Just okay. stack yourself, Comain. Just get away from the raid team and stack yourself. He jumped off nice. Okay. We can just, we can keep going with this, so just keep it alive. Can you take Easy. Billy, just sack yourself. That's so weird. Sack. Okay, good. Just keep going. You guys are fine, actually. Oh, God. Right, we've got another Hope Breaker coming up in like 13 seconds. What do we have available for this? We have two AMZs. We'll need both of those. Uh, what else do we have here? Oh, this part is so easy, too. This is so easy. We have a trend. This part of the, is so easy. God, this part is so easy. It's so easy too. Chad, this part of the fight is so easy. Right out. You guys can do some clears here. Uh, I'll go away. Hey guy died. You're gonna have to clear. Keep going. Damn. This part of the fight is so easy, boys. You guys got this, dude. That is so. E this last part is actually so easy. I did not think it was gonna be this damn easy. Wow, dude. This part of the B three. I believe. Seven mil easy. Catch your own work. Okay, do this again. This. Do this Please. again. Really fucking easy that last phase is. That was oh, a great pull. That was super crazy. Keep calm. Do the I'm same thing ahead. we did. Group two kill Atsuki, thanks. Yeah, when we uh when we have to clear without a need, we're one of the last two, I think. Can we skip? Can we can we a point okay. where we want CGs on Hope Breaker? Because I would have just died to die. Okay, okay, so I went early there. When I meant to clear, I went too early. So we're on the last ones. Like we wait everybody else to the left of us clear, then we'll clear. I went early. That's my fault. I went I got a little excited. If we don't have immunes. So close, next pull. If we just do the same thing we did just now, play it the same way, literally changes nothing about it. P3 is easy. If all of us come out on top, P3 is so easy. Just do second. And we had the boss at such high health when we get P3. We could we could if we everybody's up, right? For the last A bomb. Right? For the last A bomb. Probably save Last intermission. Oh wait, no, we a bomb. Only see two of those, right? Because we didn't even have a, We had two DPS. We killed the first A bomb, yeah. and we yeah, killed the second. Just, There's a strat where you can pull sure. the second away to that the corner, so no one touches it. Right. Right. As long as A bomb doesn't get low on health, it doesn't explode, and you basically push the boss before the timer expires. You push, push the boss to force and it went out of phase three. This does not start a timer. Normally, like if you're in there too long. Then Arthas goes back into the blade, and then the A bomb oh, is gonna explode. But if you push it before Arthas tries really to go back in, and it enforces P3, so we don't have to push the A bomb, we spend I more time into the boss, and it starts to 10% health. We do that clear once, and he's dead. That's time we have to just clear twice because he had pretty high health. So close. Next pull, boys. We can do it. Almost home. Almost out of here. I did not realize how easy this part three was. I did not realize how easy it was. It's actually so easy. Shit. It's free. Uh, Literally, the only hard part ready. is like P1 is the longest. P2 know, is like the most like so accurate. P3 the... is the easiest. So, Jesus. On healers, it was completely random. Yeah, to my lowest. Better. Very nice to have. Because. Привет. Ради тебя здорово, пайдал. Здорово, здорово, друг. To lowest, which is like DOS. To lowest. DOS a plague fall. Okay. DOS a plague fall. Not bad this week. We wiped the DOS uh, over time. Did uh, did 21 over time to 22, but it was really really doable. It's a little tight, but it's doable. Mythic, yes, it is no simps. Love your name, by the way. Is it possible to save lust for last phase? Technically, it is, but it's better to lust one of the intermission phases because this way you're doing the most amount of damage to the boss. Like to get the boss low. I maybe if you have like a giga birds. Birds like more or more single target of composition than maybe. I understand why you want to save Lust there, but I we gotta, you get a lot of the damage to get the boss even low enough during intermission when you're doing even more. 
Because in an intermission, this is where you've done the most amount of damage. So through intermission is how we get boss at 10% health. I understand. Maybe there's like a strat yeah. out there. It's a great question. I use a uh, sword. I didn't get the axe. Chad, this is so doable. Dude, this is so doable. We're almost out of here. I smelled the exit. I smelled fresh air. And I saw the exit doors. I saw the exit wow. sign, boys. I saw it was with them a grasp and I found a hole. We're trying to get back to it. Also, I did that blasphemy phase really poorly. Don't do what I did. If you have if you have the uh, just go to the green. Just don't cut it across like I did. Josh, we gotta get him back up. We're down He's dead. DPS down here. Don't worry, I got it. I'll get it. You guys got Euro. Hunters are OP, obviously. He's gonna auto auto shot it? Yeah. Just yeah. so DPS up to the ads. Big guy's at 20 for chill. Probably gonna CC on the ads, yeah. We are not chilling. Dude, oh! Let's go again. Go again. Don't think about it, just go again. Gotcha, Dale! Yeah, I know you did. Be, be a goldfish. What? Yep, sure. That's fine. Die quick. The exit sign is lit up, dude. I saw it for a second. Yeah, we're trying to fight it. <laughs> we gotta get the light to show, uh, shine again. I feel like a blind man <laughs> or a man in a dark movie. No, They're just like for the exit. <laughs> the lights are out. Saw it for a second. I got hope. <laughs> I want to see it again. I know it's somewhere out there. I can feel it. <laughs> What's up? Hey, how you doing, my guy? Would you rather have it where uh, better time playing Shirk turn into sub and funnel Lich King when all possible? I tried that before, Mavi. I my gear. I don't know, man. I I asked the chat, asked anybody who has been from my progression on this boss. We tried this as sub. We tried this place. Uh, this boss is a uh, outlaw. Be uh, pre buffs, post buffs. Honestly, like every time I try this boss, I feel like I'm getting way better damage output in general as outlaw. I totally get the idea, like funneling. We tried that. I just didn't really feel like it was making that much of an impact. Funneling is decent, but it's like it is sacrificing a lot of the damage and it doesn't feel like super as efficient as it used to be. I don't know. Just I, I gotta like ask everybody in chat, dudes. We 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 we've done for a sub and just I didn't feel like I was making this nearly as much impact. And with Outlaw, at least it got really good. With Outlaw, at least it got really good boss damage on Anduin, which and is going to be important to, in like, P3. Bio, go do that, like, ASAP, while we're waiting on him. We'll call her in a minute or something. I don't want to, like, pull break. Do you have some momentum? Valid. Like, I think, I mean, honestly, I'm, if we have someone calling the P3, we're, we went Outlaw, 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 Outlaw
because if you wait take too long i feel like you can lose out a lot of that momentum is it just me am i the only one oh don't be sorry staffy back it's taking a turbo shit Man, what a pull. It's a long fight, too. I didn't realize it was like 11 minutes. That's crazy. Dude, I am piping them Grim Reflections. I don't know what's going on with the rest of the boys, but them Grim Reflections are just getting blasted. Please tell me you're back. Please tell me you're back. There we go. Oh my god, now I got anxiety walling up, dude. I feel like almost like I almost feel like we took too long. And now we're gonna be getting back in there. We're not gonna have nearly the same. <laughs> no, 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 it can't. It can't. It can't be that bad. It can't be that bad. It can't. It just can't. I can't put it. I can't plan the idea in my head, dude. I gotta plan good ideas in my head, not bad thoughts. Good thoughts. Good thoughts. Good thoughts. Good thoughts. The boss is dead. This boss is dead. This boss is dead. This boss is dead. Think good. Feel good. Play good. Easy. Brrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrr
And just when you're done, just that feeling of refreshness is just amazing. Gonna wait. I'm literally sippy cupping just to get rid of the barriers as soon as possible. I'm literally sippy cupping. Spread it. Part yeah, standing on those blue right here with that purple buff is a Choo -choo. death trap because you never see it. You oh, literally man, never see it. Alright, King's going on. Mythical Lord's you more close. Apparently, Mythical Lord's is like 20 pulls now. Apparently, people figure out strat with it and it's a 20 pull fight. It's not bad at all. I like, I would just like just the, the change of environment too. To, get, to be honest, I'm just okay with like just changing the environment too. But yeah, Lord's Dread apparently is much easier with boss compared to Anduin. Regulon too is getting nerfed more and more and he's a, becomes even more and more doable. Pull. Go back up. Pull the lever, Croc. Pass it blast on me. Do, 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 do. They chill on no time. I'm actually okay with it. Like, if we're struggling this much on a final boss of a raid tier, I'm okay with that struggle, okay. honestly. Like, this is the type of struggle that I'm, like, okay with. I'm just gonna save my Venti buff. By the way, boys, thanks so much for being here. You guys are awesome to hang out with. Especially during these tough times where we're stuck in the Anduin hell. To climb out of here with you, boys. That's very, very enjoyable. I actually really enjoyed taking so many of you guys throughout this tier so far, man. Can't wait until we finish out. I get some fun in Season 4. I'm so excited. As long as you focus on living here, we'll be okay. Little just focused on surviving. You really can't take four. I bet he can. Defensive. Mantra soul. This has got to die at some point. Let's <laughs> watch one of the ads. Just think, like, you know what? If these ads are gonna do the death of us, I'd be so so mad. <laughs> I can't even trust us anymore. Oh, all trust is gone. Ready. I'm ready. I'm making the shot. I swear to God, it just felt like a little bit of lag as I couldn't shot at him. I hate it. I hated that. I hated that with every fire of my body. 
Beautiful. Top group, do the thing. Please stun, please stun AoE, anything. Please stun anything, oh. yeah, there we go. Get us out, get us out. Trying to. I need this guy's just pipe down there. Just gonna stun this for sad. So we're just not dealing with that at all. Okay, don't break him yet. Don't CC on that ad. Oh shit. Please. You yeah. CC's up, please. Yep. Stars, good stars here. Stun two. Stun three. That was my roar right there. Pull us. Nice. Fish that 21. <sighs> get in, get in. Everybody in. Rip, you guys are coming. We need this thing. TC. Awesome. Blow that fed melee. Nice. Fuck him up. Reap off uh, conflict. Get stunned for this one. Okay. Giga fuck him. You overlap two stuns there. Careful. Kill him. Nice. Chat, Prog, all of us alive. Play to live. Play to live, jobs. yep. Hit the bomb when it's Pots up in 50. I don't know why you didn't potion before. But I didn't. Ass yes, fuck that big boy. Just gonna focus on A bomb of the bad boys. Make sure this monster soul dies, guys. Monster soul, you're on it. You're kidding Slow me. It. You're kidding me. 5%. Who did not hit that thing? Who didn't hit that thing? Actual target. Who dangers. didn't actually hit that thing? I'm going to logs. I'm. It's gonna be the same for both sets. <sighs> oh, man. This is ridiculous. Who didn't target it? Who didn't even hit it? Who? Why does it be me, man? Why should my damage be the worst? Gear pull, great pull, rip. I know, dude. I know, ass skeets. That is so good. We're so almost done, dude. We're almost out of the end of hell. I don't know, but I wouldn't go. Uh, I wouldn't put the. I wouldn't boot. No, 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 not boot. I just want to know who it is. But I don't know if that will help, honestly. Maybe like that's not a good. Mo that won't help my mindset right now. I'm just trying to escape out of here, man. <laughs> Do I look or not look, chat? Do I just find out? Do I just see? Uh, I don't think I do. I don't think I do. I don't think I put that thought in my head. Because I'm going to be like overthinking it. I'm going to be thinking about that instead of the fight. Uh, whenever Swork and uh, Devon are ready, we go. I wouldn't I boot, or I would. I said you would, or you wouldn't. You saying you would, or you wouldn't. Okay. Need to go four in the morning, hair mate. Yo, Philip, thanks so much for coming by, my guy. I know you're watching from you, man. Super, super late. I appreciate you chilling as long as you did. I'll let you guys know on Discord tomorrow, or when we kill the boss, that we we're finally done. I'll let you guys know. Constantine. Four in the morning here. Ready? Hope you killed it. Eight. Yo, yeah, hopefully we get it. Hopefully we get it, Felipe. It's okay. I'm excited. I love how you just I know. I am excited. I love how you just know, dude. I would. <laughs> I don't know how that. I don't know if that'll work out well. Holy Greek, he must be talking about me. Also, bad boy, don't. Don't fucking zone out. This is the time to zone in. Lean in. Leaning? Yeah. I want you, mother I want you motherfuckers to look like Quasimodo right now with a hunchback because you're so far into your fucking monitor. Full shrimp. Did you say full shrimp? Yeah, full shrimp, dude. <laughs> full shrimp. <laughs> okay. Um. Hey. 
found me. Just do the thing. It's a little weird, but just do the thing. There we go. Things more one. Dude, if we kill Anduin, I'm gonna celebrate by making a different thumbnail. You know, I may have this Anduin thumbnail, but I'm gonna do Lord's Dread thumbnail or like a Jailer thumbnail. I'll, I'll literally celebrate by make, changing my thumbnail for the streams permanently because I'm so tired of Anduin's face. I don't wanna see his boss ever. Yo, Acid, how's uh, Group 2 doing, by the way? You guys, you guys are Anduin too, right? I didn't do that in the 25. Plus! I did. Watch Will. Beautiful. Adjust, adjust. Do, 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 What can I do? Yeah, no. Don't take a five minute break. Next hour, just keep grinding. Like five minute break? Nah, I think we if we all get up, stretch, take a deep breath, recapture the moment. I'm, I'm fine with that as long as you guys feel like the only reason I didn't take it at 10 30 is I felt we would kill momentum. But if you guys need a break, I'd rather have you rested than not. Oh, man. Do we take a break, chat or not? Nah? Do we right, take a break or not? Nah? Get some water. Take a lap. Slap yourself. Slap Grab yourself. Crack, give me ten push-ups. <laughs> You're lucky to get a half. <laughs> All right, quick break. And then we're back, boys. Okay, crap. Well, I guess when we come back from our break here, Red Man. Mm -mm -mm -mm. No. Yep. Bobby here. You know, I'm surprised he has this as a heroic weapon. I wonder if he has it just for the uh, procs. Hey, Yoda. Yeah. Have you looked at your B net whispers? Um, you should do that. By the way, chat, have you guys been playing any other games besides WoW? Has anybody here been playing V Rising by any chance? I got a free code from the developers and I've been playing it a little bit here and there. You can watch this for hours, Martin. How you doing, my man? Thank you so much for being here, my man. Appreciate it. Well, hopefully you won't have to be here forever. Hopefully you only get to be here for a short amount of time. Is Common swapping? Are we swapping out Kami, Kamein for Decrypt? Is that what's happening? Maybe. Maybe he's offline just to make sure to save his raid buffs. Okay, it looks like we're doing a little swap and during this break. The crap is going DK and we bring it back Lucy. 
as a uh, warlock. Uh, I'm a downtime where I'm playing WoW and everything. You need to go to wake up, play some FX IV down. Okay, cool. Yeah, recently I've been playing a little bit of uh, V Rising in my free time. Just working on the um, my vampire castle there. It's a pretty fun survival game, honestly. Still exploring and still figuring stuff out, but it's pretty cool. Getting like my. I guess there's technical levels in that game. I guess I'm in a level 40 ish, which is like kind of mid ground area. But uh, outside of that, I've also been playing a bit of Pathfinder too. I've been enjoying Pathfinder tremendously, dude. Oh my god. Pathfinder has been very, very solid, very enjoyable. And Pathfinder is like a, um, it's a CRPG. It's a Valheim. So, V Rising is very similar to Valheim, instead of, but instead of Vikings, it is vampires. But it's very, very similar. It's like an indie title in a very similar way. Like, you get axes and you can chop down trees and you can pick up parts and all that stuff. And you gather it and you bring it back to the hut. Except instead of a hut, you have like a vampire castle that you can build up. And it has biomes, it has bosses. It's a lot more bosses than what uh, Valheim had. I played the early version of Valheim where there's like one boss per biome. Um, this one has like a bunch of little bosses scattered all over the place and has like a blood sucking mechanic too. Like, depending which mobs you kill, they have like different blood, like uh, blood of a warrior, blood of a rogue, blood of a beast, blood of a worker, and it gives you various buffs. So like, you kind of got to scout out for the dudes that have the best blood and you ink that and maximize the value of it. Or if you find those uh, certain NPCs, you can always like, as you advance your vampire and you grow your abilities, you can use this uh, charming ability so you can get him to follow you back to your castle and you can imprison him in a in a in a in a, in a cage in like the tombs downstairs and you can use them for like their, their blood so you're like okay well, i'm gonna be going farming i'm gonna get the, the good worker blood or whatever you basically just keep them there and sunlight hurts you too so like you can't really be out in sunlight so basically you're more active at night rather than the day than like light holy spells garlic silver all that stuff hurts so it's like very like vampire-esque like things about it it's really really cool don't trust him flying But it's basically very, very similar to Valheim. Valheim was really cool when it first came out. I know my guildies were super into it. Hell, everybody uh, were into it. You should see it on the right side of the graph. You can see the damage dealt, and then the DPS should be the one all the way to the right. The fucking blood. Probably. Now let's get a ready check. I definitely some. recommend uh, V Rising if you like Valheim Tony. It's like uh, the camera is a little different though. So Valheim is like behind Science your character, kind of like in WoW. Valheim is oh V Rising is a little bit like over the almost build stuff. So you can build stuff in um, you can build stuff in. I don't go back look. And what's it? In V Rising too, but instead of like building a uh, like a Viking shack, which I guess like the building in. Valheim is probably a little bit more complex and a lot more things you could do with it. Bob. There's a lot more freedom. Yes. Yes. Yeah, we got the bolt the boss did like four percent. So I come saw in that. And play like a champion of all champions. Wait, oh we swap solo. But you can build like castles and uh, stuff in the uh to, I told you you had to leave early tonight. Oh, Horizon. A Horlock. Uh, second potions for that first A bomb or the second A bomb and second intermission? Oh, we only had three Warlocks. Uh, it's second A bomb. So we should have every pot in the game for the second one. So we just need to put a little bit of focus in the first one there, yeah. Yeah, I, I don't. I have to mm -hmm. check that A bomb. Mm -hmm. then, 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 am I am I getting the exact Three. first same soak? Final phase. Uh, uh, oh, no. Hold on, I gotta 
I wonder if it's worth popping you're, cooldowns at the beginning. Well, I have my cooldowns back by second A bomb. The crap, so you're clearing on tango mode, so he's going middle, you're the catcher. Cool. Where's Bob going? <sighs> the crap, Bob, like right Bob, here. Bob. You're, you're group four, you're with Izzo, so Izzo's moving in, you're the catcher. You're like right here. The crap, do you see where I'm at right now? I'm on the left side. Yeah, I, I know. This is where you'll stand, dude. Yeah. Where is Izzo? Yeah. Wait, somebody said right something? Here. You come here. The jump turn to Bob and run to your opinion on what should it play? Horde? Oh, yeah, that would be a good yeah. class to pick up. Should yeah, I play Horde? Play you can play Alliance if you want to. Cross action makes it a little bit less of like, um, okay. That's when you'll be you, a little bit less of like just once you got limitations down, with you Horde guys. or Alliance. Like if you really want to play Alliance for Alliance yeah. racials, you could, and you'll be able to play with the Hordes, but like with the pluses, it. PVP, whatever. Cross faction has been pretty fantastic. If you're looking for guilds, I imagine lots of guilds are looking to cross faction as well. Opinion of what should play a Horde yeah, and would be a good class to pick up. Great class to pick up right now would be like a Mage. Warlocks are really good, Hunters are good, Rogues are good too, as a DPS. Those are the ones I can name off the bat. Technically, all DPS are good, but if you're looking for like a DPS, rusty ass Mage, Warlock, DK, Hunter, and Rogue are really, really good right now. If you're looking to play Tank, Blood DK is highly advised. Demon Hunter is also really, really good too. Look to play Healer, Holy Priest is very, very good. Palace not bad either, Rest of Shaman is good in Keys. I'd say Rest of Druid is also really, really good. I used to be a bad pally. Are you calling oh, DK this? an easy class? Back in the day, yeah. In this barrier? Even Back in my day. I feel like you were even an orange parser for the bulk of BFA also. So what is it? What is he now? White parser? Yeah. Probably! But what are the other classes you were thinking of, um, Santa? What are the other classes were you thinking of for like coming back? Is it is it a class you played before that you're like interested in? Because there's really a lot of classes that are pretty good right now. Discuss faction, the number of valley guilds, and kill Jaden have gone way up. Yeah, I mean now that you have a little bit more of like, there's less of a need to be one f faction or the other. Groups of friends could just go back to playing what they like or what they want to. It's been nice. There's been a lot more alliance on Illidan. Which is commonly a horde only realm. Nowadays, a lot more people are switching. Switching their all, switching the mains. Because, like, the alliance rushes are really good. Like, for pushing mythic pluses, they're really good there. Please, God, you want my penis? Pause. Shit, get recovery. 40 Halligans have mythic shallow. Let's go. Hopefully, they'll get more of them killing them. I'd be surprised if they didn't, you know, I, I hope they'll either just enable, like, your right. season 4 cross-faction guilds. How much easier would that be? Cross-faction guilds would be fantastic. On two. We need help on these ads. Get a credit from out. Gazelle, Gazelle, Gazelle. Say less, my guy. Remember, I need a dark debuff. Somebody needs to get that kick. Oh, Alright, I'm gonna get that kick. 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 Alright, you're taking no. my... Um, you just needed to get us done there, but I didn't update them. Oh. That's my fault. Um, I and mean, those guys were nowhere near dying, so... Unforge. Yeah, I don't know why they were so much lower. I do I do think I went down the wrong. Let me... Let's see. Did you we need me to be on the ads. Yes, I, I, I went autopilot and I went down Kingsmore too, so I wasn't even updated. So no, we don't need to do oh. that. Oh, man. So yeah, that's my bad. Okay, yeah. just run it back, go again. I want to swap out a person like that is kind of lame because I feel like we had a really really good momentum I just don't want to lose our momentum in the last 40 minutes please okay I was actually like looking for it but I was like yo King I said I gotta swap a bunch of my alliance my so, bunch of my hordes yeah. to alliance I think I want to do it tomorrow if I can before the stream I just had to find some time to be able to do it but if I can yo it's so good it's so fun
back in there back to where we were which is basically had the boss dead Twenty halls but second second play uh second on my eight yo good luck good luck let me know how it goes If you can get me, sure, wait. how? Wait, how? Oh, dude, you're a fucking pro. Wait, how'd you die there, Euro? I uh, probably had dot on me. Okay. Kick him out. Benched. You were out of range of me, at least. Yeah, I was. Ran to Africa to meet up with Dell. Run to. Man, that was a millisecond, dude. Watch the stars. We're like on a weird angle here, so just adjust. You're at a weird angle. They don't call me Gonzo for nothing. Run two? I thought that was a dementia. Not that old. I'm not that old, I swear. Of course. Bring us up. Lucy. Nice. Kill this set. Kill up. Just send it. But you're definitely missing damage. Probably. I don't like that. Definitely what it looks like. Yeah, we'll need, we'll need a first. We'll need a first kick on uh, circle. Which one, circle? Oh, okay, yeah, I can do that. Okay. Take a mud, got it. Come to log me and Prodzy cast not bad at all. Wait, what class do you play, King? I I don't think I've ever actually asked you what class you play. Now I feel really really bad. Are you healing? Oh, and me a Frost DK. Okay, okay, okay. <laughs> I guess I misread it. Get ready to blast this soul. Yeah, but I didn't know you played Frost DK. Soul, guys, everybody. I don't know why I didn't. Okay, good. Oh, goodness. Just got here since we were melting. Yo, Raw, you should have seen our pull. We had, we basically were in the last part. We were, had the boss at 6 million health, which is so little. 
It was actually... We basically had to fight. P3 so easy. You'll be surprised. You'll be amazed how easy screen. that part is. I got hit. We actually had the boss dead. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Diamond. We need a CC on diamond. CC on diamond. Thank you. Get Corralius up in five. Make sure kick number four is covered on this second half. They were done. They were basically done. But DK main. Do you play the two hander or do you, like do you play two hand or do you build? You play a big old meaty big old weapon. Going to purple. You should have cycled on purple. Right? Please cycle yeah. on purple. Please cycle on purple. Nice. Formula, I think it's just practice. I think we've been practicing and doing way better this fight so far. We're not even gonna kill it. Yeah, I got pulled uh, early. I literally see spells hitting him in there at 1%. Why? Man. You can't fuck up that bad to crap. Oh. Man. Yeah, I know. New people, uh, like new people, people who know I the fight. More, uh, people got more deal with the formula. So we did get changed to our roster, but we just had a Those really, really good go. I think we got picked up. So we had another change to roster, but I think we ended up picking yeah. up a healer that Odin was he the did, fight. Menarch, he so he doesn't have to learn it. And he does uh, plays a main healer, not like a yeah, um I was back in as a healer. Main. We had a good composition yeah, with double demon hunter, which gives us a little bit more AoE. So and really there. good a damage. It's good for bosses, but also good oh, in AoE bursts, which I think helps us out quite a bit. We're actually going three warlocks instead of four. Um that's about it. Yeah, that, I don't really know. I think it's just the uh, the practices make it perfect and people are finally getting it and we're not really having to relearn it. And more or less the composition is more or less consistent. Remember, guys. I think that's what's coming down. It's Morbin time. Oh, true. You shut your mouth. Never see those words in my face again. Mm-mm-mm-mm. I really hope they make a second one. What? A, I, so I haven't seen it. Just seen obviously all the. Oh, dude, I'm gonna send you a Discord video of the whole thing. It's what? In general. It's so bad. Oh, I got you. I'll post that whole thing. It's in general. What do you mean? Oh, is it? Okay. Yeah, you you put it's Morbid time like. Oh, uh, okay. Yeah, you're right. I forgot about that one. A lot of things. Mm -mm 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 -mm. I think what's also helping us is the fact that we are at the beginning we decided don't focus about DPS, focus about mechanics. Like, don't worry about the overall DPS, just focus about hitting the right mob at the right time. And I think it's just everybody else that's been doing this fight for so long, just so tired of it. Everybody wants to move on to another boss altogether. So, uh, yeah, I think it's just everybody just agreed in silent agreement that we we're just so tired of this place. Of Anduin. I will need a dark debuff. He's man. Alright, he's 1-1. Was he get your hander? I like it! Did you like it over dual wield or are you just playing because of the weapon choice? Does anybody give you like weird looks about it too? Does anybody's like, yo, why are you why are you do why are you two hand? Why are you not dual wield, right? Why are you no breath build? Or do you play two hand with a breath? Because I love two hand build. I love it. It's so I need good. A little bit more help on the ads. Pull 
every second. My was Red Paladin? Yo, Quad, we don't have one, man. We used to. It was a really, really nice guy. I miss a Red Paladin friend. was the last two. Trust me, I miss our Red Paladin friend. We had a guy named Valandol. He was a really, really nice guy. He used to play a lot of Red Pally. I miss him. He's worn too, get ready. I called it. Die quick. I literally used it before I went out to fucking drop the uh, star. Oh. That was the second stun, so it's not possible. Well, mm. if you did right. use it, the add on didn't cap it. Yeah, just wait. Just yeah. we go again. We go again. Do -do 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 -do. I really am hoping that in the next 30 minutes, boys, we just kill the boss. Haven't I just one person? So we had well, uh, the Death Knight that was doing the fight. Had to go. Yeah, we swapped him off for the crap. Breaks are not good. I'm telling you right now. Davis last word. Yeah, we took a five minute break, too. <laughs> Is our cousin wife's name better than you all, really? <laughs> I don't know what happens, honestly. Like, I yeah. wish I could comment on it. Like, I I, I don't want to say anything bad just because I don't really know, like, what their stuns are, to be honest. I know that they have a stun rotation. And I think Izzo used to be the first kick, Yo, but he's got like about Gloria that way. She's a to do a saint. second kick. She keeps a clean house and she makes a good meal. Wait, What's I thought dinner? her name was Candace. No, next mom is Gloria. Yeah. Close is Maria's. Pretty close, right? Heads yeah. to the EO. Do 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 <laughs> Everyone hates Andrew. Is this BK lights up and in tunnels what happens? Maybe, maybe. That's that's what happens. You could go. Maybe. Where does he go? I'm not finishing. I know, you never finish when you're such a gentleman. No, tragic. Also because it's difficult in a fur suit. What do you know? Oh, absolutely. I'm watching. Don't you remember? I'm in his closet. In the barrier, please? Pretty roomy in here because he's got to fit all of them in it. I like his scaly suit the best. I right, we need a purple. Thank you. Oh, that dot fucks so hard. Damn, oh, by the way, when we play anything, I was a quitter. Hey, fair enough, fair enough. I was gonna say. It did. Oh, how you doing, by the way, my guy? If they kill us before, like, Yo, I don't blame you for quitting, man. If we were in this hell on Anduin for as long as yeah. we are, yeah, I don't hard. blame anybody. I just want to get out of this hell and move on to other bosses. Cause I'm excited to do the rest of this place. Hey, on top! Boss! Oh. Spread. Blast for me and Barrier, finish that shit off. Still a little barrier. Still a little barrier. I would say it's actually above average. Probably it was a great personality. Someone wrote a classic when I quit about it hit so many. Let's go. Huge. Sorry. Hope you enjoyed, my guy. Let's go, dude. Huge. I'm Things glad you're having too. fun. Glad you joined yourself. You're coming from Wrath? Because Wrath should be a pop, dude. Everybody else thought like, oh man, TBC, now nah, we're playing real classic. Wrath, now nah, that's gonna be a real classic. Pull us. Help us hit it! It's so high! Pass me then barrier. 
Seven seconds. You're just done here. Anyone Five go seconds. Go. I got it, I got it. Three seconds. One, one. Two seconds. One second. Go again. Oh my god. My fear can only do something. I'm just gonna put more damage into those early yeah. on. It's a I got, uh, different sorry. damage profile than before. Uh, let me do it, because I'm literally single targeting. I mean, I was told to stop at the beginning. That's yeah. why. No, me, so, no, it's me. just different from when we had the crap on there. Like it's nine day different damage profile. Let me let me do it because otherwise I'm just single targeting the sucking boss and I'm mm -hmm, so mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Well, yeah. no, hold on, oh, just Lucy, Five. just throw throw your. That looks great. Throw just all no, of your rain of fires on them. I can do Five, that. but I can bleed. So. All right, just hold up the crap. We just need Bob to adjust a little bit. Exactly. Okay. Yeah, that's it. I can do that. It's uh, normally in group one. I don't touch them, so I'll just do that whenever since I'm in a different group now. Yeah, it's just yeah, because don't, we're don't put us. like crazy on them, but we need just like a, a like just a a fucking shred of extra defense. So every shard. Well, at the so every at shard. the end you can just hold a <laughs> blasphemy <laughs> and then send your blasphemy and some random fires like when they call for to break us. I probably noticed that I haven't had the uh, Mad Duke scene in a while. I guess it just kind of ran out from earlier. Did I have it on there? Let me check. Let me double it. No. I'm gonna show it up in the other polls, right? I just missing a buff. Or maybe it doesn't show up. Maybe T, T does not show up. Hold on. I know that I had T at the very start of the instance. No, it does. How, how many polls have I not had T? Still seeing T, still seeing T, T. So I guess for a good portion of the polls, I didn't have T. Wow, I, I blow. Okay, well now it dies tonight. Because apparently I was just gimping myself, boys. I literally didn't have my T buff. Didn't have crit, haste, versa, nothing. Barrier. Reddit. Spread it. I'm glad that everybody stopped there. I'm glad that everybody just stopped for a second, just like, oh, wait, hold on, hold on. Let's not wipe. <laughs> I went to one pull. Uh, so I had it for a couple of pulls at the start, but I haven't had it for like a good portion of the pulls. Uh, do big damage I, I'll just look there. it again. Up there, because I fucked up. Yeah, so the T doesn't show up at the top of the pull. Sometimes it like isn't 100% up to him for whatever reason. Well, Fuck up, we do, baby. Almost. Either way. We got the berry, I think. Please, Blizzard Gods, free of this nightmare. I want to be done with Anduin. Ah. Gonna walk in. That's some forge. Two. Gotta really sketch that for a second. I need a dark. Pull us. I look, we've been on the boss too long, David. Way too long. Oh, get me out of there. Okay, nice. I'll be rest two minutes. Yeah, we're targeting for her. We're making sure to kill the one you're not. It's just that at that point it's on Tanko, so it's a... Okay. At least like 400-ish pulls at this point. Faster. 
Too many. We're gonna try pop a potion. I don't know if I'll have the potion up by the time we need it in the second phase. We're gonna try it. I just wanna see how long that other phase is. Make sure this soul dies. Defensive. Yeah, it was a much worse push in Anduin. Health wise, it's pretty bad, but what can you do? Being a DPS behind does not help. down this guy as best as we can. On two. Nice. We just Broke decided to bring you all up. Apparently. Holy shit. Og champ. What a pull early. We are fucked. Oh. Somebody had to change something. Yeah, jump off. Okay. Yeah, oh, there's stuff there. We get oh, that. Oh, man. We need, like, giga DPS on. Damn. They should they have. have like 50 combo kill those guys. I went down with do 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 yeah, so like do instantaneously back up. Somebody went ham. They just got like 50 crits in a row. Alrighty boys, about 20 minutes or so that we have left. Hopefully. We'll see P3 again. Just need one good pull. That's all we need. And the fact that we're changing stuff is just the worst. I really, 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 really dislike it. How we changed anything. <laughs> I really dislike it. Because we had a perfect go. We had everybody that knew exactly what they were doing. The idea was to go in, not change anything at all. We had to swap out a um, Warlock for a Death Knight. The Death, the Warlock, that's not our Death Knight, Jash. He knows what to do as a DK, he knows what to do as a Warlock. Either way the fight goes, he knows exactly what he's supposed to be doing. We brought in another Warlock, since I guess the original DK had to go. And... I was like... Was it... Maybe, was it maybe Lucy that was doing way too much damage there? Unless it adds? Orcs getting charged. Souls? Somebody popped off there. I don't know who, but it's like you're just one person, and that's it. Like you just basically have to relearn to fight a little bit. Because yep. what was not an issue now is an issue, and I was like, okay, well, I have to wipe and backtrack and figure out what happened. Consistency is key. It's just crazy how much it shows in this fight. What is my RG? 
Rook and Isabel did one mil that side, did they? Was it maybe a Swark popping off? Yep. Right out. Where to like all the other poles? I don't. I think that's where normally Swark like backs off, right? Damage wise. Kings one one. Probably. Okay, I'll just need to go back and look at some point. We're definitely killing this hole. Two. AOE incoming. Oh. I felt like our damage was a lot more consistent yeah. in yesterday's poll, uh, or not yesterday's last few polls. Like the one where we got P3, just felt like our damage was just on point. In the pulls leading up to that. Kings more than two, get ready. God, I really hope they don't design more fights like this. This is not as bad as SLG, but damn, dude. That definitely is like one of my least fa favorite mechanics. Actually, no, this fight is like very like SLG, because if you do too much damage on certain packs, the fight could feel very, very different. Dude. If you do too little damage, also the fight could feel very, very different. And I really dislike it. Gotta finish the barrier, if you cleared, come on. Oh, oh no. Wow. A five minute break, man. And here we are. Do 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 yeah, just squeeze every bit of pulp out of it as you can. Yeah, I'm still like the ones that are high. I'm single targeting and stuff. I'm trying to use my brain a bit, but I will just go more mongoloid. There we. Oh man. So it's either going to die tonight in the next few pulls, which I would love. That would probably be the best way to finish the night or it dies tomorrow. If we could just get the same people, same cuts to come tomorrow, it definitely dies by tomorrow. But at least feels good that it might die this week. Because I'm so ready for Lords of Dread or Regulon or whatever we do. I think we'll do Lords of Dread first. Just because it's easier. Excellent, excellent pull there, Del. <laughs> You're wrote in the officer chat. I want this boss to die. I want pizza and this boss to die. I, I wrote him back. Sorry, this is a Wendy's. And the barrier? <sighs> I was proud of myself. I was like, wow, that was so funny. We spread. Does the killer believe? I believe too. I'm a believer. Oh. I'm no longer a believer. You meant the next pull, Tony. You meant the next pull. Your message was delayed. Yeah, Ted Lasso would say. <laughs> Actually, he wouldn't say that. He would say goldfish. And then they would win a championship. 
There we go. What's up, King? How you doing, guy? Yo. <laughs> Hopefully we kill it here. Now the king is here. What's up, my man? Hope you're having a good one. What you playing recently? Yo, King, have you picked up V Rising, by the way? I know you're into, like, uh, survival games. Have you played that at all? Dude, V Rising is kind of fun. If you played Valheim, it's basically Valheim. Just with, like, a League of Legends, like, camera angle. But it's pretty fun. What you been up to recently? Have you been playing more uh, Ark? Also, when is Ark 2? When is that coming out? Because I had a Guildy of Hours talk about Ark 2 the other day. I think I mentioned when it's coming out, but I don't remember. Not on top of my head. No. Yes. Bye bye, Rich Over. See you later. Yes. Stop spamming. Rain up by a. Yes, down. Hate this fucking clock. <laughs> you know what's not a great fight for a million warlocks? Anduin? No. Lord of Dread. Imagine like having awesome. any sort of complaint as the best class in the game. Incredible. Credit. Remembering the rate of fire before it pulls is hard, right? That's exactly what happened. Players having to deal mechanics? What is this? Great. Gotta miss raiding, but I don't know if I can throw my head against the wall too. You know, raiding it can be fun on Mythic or like... Louder. Oh boy, 3 a.m. Casual too. Like raiding casually is also really, really fun. I think it's like the environment is really enjoyable. Like bosses are fun, but I, really in the end, I really like the environment of raiding. Like hanging out with the boys, killing bosses. Not even about the bosses themselves in particular. Okay. About doing it in a good crowd, man. It's very, very fun. And it's fun with fun people. At least I know Dear I learned Parker. about myself that I'm value it. Power bottom group to you. <laughs> Stars. AOE incoming. Yeah, Ross, I'd, I'd say it's like it's really more fun with the when you find the right people to read with, honestly. King Horn too. Juicy hero, I believe. You could always give it another shot for season four, but they're doing something new with it. That could be fun. Or Dragonflight. Run two. Pull us. Get us out of here. That's a boss for me. How many greens? Come to the back. Uh, okay, works. I did more for you to crap. I appreciate it. So did the rest of the raid. King, you know, responded back to me. I'm like, hi, Joe. Please, you rising? Pretty much has something that kind of messed up. Guy, Anduin definitely. Oh, twice the second boss? No! King! I'm sorry about that, my guy. That's valid. What about Sorbet over it? I'm sorry about him, man. Sorbet. Twice the second boss is trying to hold their own leaves. Damn. What happened? Whose fault was it? I feel like you still do it. I think it's one of those fights where you can keep coming back, actually. Defensive. Please kill it, please kill it, please kill it, please kill it. There we go. Oh yeah, so it was a potion. Let's see if I'll have it up by then. 
I don't know if I will. But maybe. Well. Another song that is called The Boss, Erase and Check if you like. Wait, is that an NCS song? Well, it depends. Is it, is it non copyrighted? Then I make me play it. I'll be down to though. Play an Outlaw now? Well, I've been playing Outlaw since the beginning. I've been trying to make it work, but it has become a lot more popular, Jake. It has been getting a lot better recently. It's become a lot better. The buffs are looking substantial enough. Whether you're playing like the Venthyr build or the Necrolord for AoE or Kyrian, like a bit of both. It's gotten a lot better. I don't know about everybody, everybody playing Outlaw, but it definitely has gotten miles better than where it used to be. Please move it, please move it. Yeah, there we go. Nice. I got pulled I'll up. Stream? Okay, okay. I will do. Watch yourself downstairs. I will, I will, I will. Yo, Kren, can you uh, see if you can find that song and link it in Discord? Just because I know I have a memory of a goldfish. Not yet. Get me out quickly, one second, I'm yeah, dying. I'm dead. No, no! not enough damage on them up top. Yeah. Here we go again. Don't think about it, go again. Goldfish, goldfish, goldfish. MXD, so it's only pretty much unknown. Yeah, if Frank provided for me, that would be wonderful. I had to take, I had to take my hands uh, off my keyboard. Would it, help? Would it help when he casts his kings more than that? Killer somehow died early in bot I don't know how. Fucking, uh, okay. Half circle comb. Yeah, like, when you're doing like those twenties, like some, uh, you will left, generally get a lot better players. Would but that help? Yes or no? As soon as they know, like yes. something's gonna be messed up. As soon as they know, like okay, we might one. not be able to time it. They usually like follow the fucking bear. They usually like. Shut up. It really depends on the groups. Some groups are like like the group that we had earlier when we were doing Aquatic Quake. We had this, a um, because this is a Christian reading guild. Could we follow the abs? We're set. We're possibly. Let's go. Hey, that's awesome. Hey, let's go. Video of like the church group where they were all cheering. Awesome, my guy. Does that mean the bear only does that? What do you think is the best PvP class? Or do you actually think it's more balanced? Do you think the best class PvP or do you feel like does actually get more balanced? Nah, Destro is really really good. Mages, frost mages are pretty good too. Fire mages are pretty decent. Um, outlaw rogues are disgusting right now. A lot of people are hating Owl of the Rogues. I think Owl of the Rogues is probably the most disgusting spec to be right now. Everybody else is more or less like even with one another. I either fuck one Warlock or I fuck the other Warlock. I don't have Fuck me. Inside of the barrier.
On two. AOE incoming. I need a purple on tank. Barrier is still on fist. I was rocking Malone with Hunter's back, Wise RK Major Early PvP. It was good until uh, we went Merc for better cues, and then it took a while to catch good groups, really. Yeah, honestly, so, it's sometimes it'd be like that, though. But when we got no cross faction, cross factions doesn't apply to random BGs. I mean, sometimes, like, you'll get some... It really depends on the time of the day. I know that in the middle of the night, a lot of Hordes are queuing as Alliance just for faster queues. A lot of them will just be queuing up together. And it'll just absolutely be stomping on people. But, like, in the middle of the night, like, in the AMs. I guess early morning. Close. Like, 12 AM, 1 AM, 2 AM. There's a lot of this Alliance groups that are actually just popping. But it really depends. Not always. Not consistently. Okay, I'm not gonna pop in through on this guy. Nerf Anduin? Oh, I'm okay with them nerfing Anduin. If they nerf Anduin to the ground, I'll be fine with it. Let's make it a long, boring fight with nothing goes on. I'm okay with it. Literally make that mythic. <laughs> I'll be okay with it. I mean, I'm just saying that out of frustration of doing this boss as much as we did, but like, I'm just over him completely. I'd be kind of okay if they gave Vander when Halanja's treatment too. Like Halanja's basically became like went from like okay, it's kind of like a a challenge of a boss to like wait, this is really really easy. Like the ball that crab alive, that's how easy it is now. But with Anduin, they nerfed him a couple of times, but not enough to, like, really butcher him. So he still presents quite a bit of a challenge. But if they were to butcher Anduin, I'd be okay with it. I won't cry over it. Yeah, that soul got blasted. Got the full Venthyr going, I got my procs too. Back to back finishers. Two small ads. And it is a casual gasp. Yeah, I wish it was. And it was probably casually if you'd killed him before. Like I'm sure, like once we killed the boss, we'd be like, you know what? Why was it? Why would it? Why did we make it so much harder on ourselves? Right? Once we figure out exactly what to do, once Purple we figure out the strat, going. it's just gonna feel easier. Purple. But we're not quite there yet. Follow the bear. Stay attacked. Tight. Follow the bear. Follow the bear. I got my son there. Look. You're all dead. Get get talk instead of me. Yeah. That guy's fucking finish him. Oh, we're dead. Alright, kids. We will wrap it up there it? for this evening. Wow. Um, okay. Alright. Right side? Clearly this boss is killable. Uh, we did pretty uh, well all the tunes. Then it's a phase, transfer, but I love but, my horde tunes. Uh, it's still consistency. Like, we'll have... You're going to figure why not transfer? Yeah, why not, right? Uh,
blasphemies, misthuns. Elf for the first time in Wrath Dispatch, really? That's cool, William. That's cool. You guys have the capability to do it. We got super deep into the last phase. Yep. Let's just get there consistently tomorrow. If we see that final phase one or two times, it's going to be dead. So, come in tomorrow, good attitude. We got to, you know, I, now you guys can see, phase three is the thing. This boss is easily in kill range. So, get some sleep, come back tomorrow ready to fuck this thing up. What happened there? Uh, we... It looked like we missed stuns on two players up top. And we didn't have them downstairs, and we... Oh, that's kind of weird. Some of the ad steps. Hmm. So there were missed stuns, like when we were doing an AoE stun, apparently two players did not get stunned. So then it bust, busted out, and they got a res, and there's like two people down out of the Kingsman phase, and then it's like, it just kind of scuffs the rest of it. Okay, that was a very complicated wipe at the end. Alrighty, boys, tomorrow. Tomorrow, tomorrow, the boss dies tomorrow. I'd be very, very sad if you had to do them tomorrow and Thursday. But if you get exactly the same people as that one pool where we basically had the boss, like... 6% health, 5% health, 4% or so. How hello was he actually? 11 minutes in the pool. I don't even know how much health he had. But it was really, really low. If we can get him down there, into that phase again tomorrow, it's, uh, it's dead. It's 100% dead. I'm so excited for it to finally be dead. Oh, uh, I think with 9.2 just needed a quest to unlock the Jiro. Jiro who will sell it. Yeah, I think, uh, see when it was added, like, um, with 9.2, it was just asking me when was this item added. I think it was added available immediately. You just needed to get, like, the, the cipher advanced enough in order to be able to get a quest to unlock the Jiro that could sell you this item. All right, tomorrow we come back. Great prog, said you didn't kill him. Yo, come back, kill him tomorrow. If we have the same people tomorrow, we could do it. Or if we spend the, sa the, same, peop the same people in P3 that we got in, if they're, they're there, it's dead. If we got same two people that we had at the very, very end, it's a bit of learning, but then it's dead. It's totally doable. Your prog, yeah, we, we'll get it tomorrow or Thursday. Hopefully tomorrow. I was hoping we we're gonna do another AV special event so we can do all the AV at times. Dude, they gotta add AV as a special event that's constantly queuable during like season four. They just need to bring back a bunch of like cool events during season four. I think that's what they gotta do. They gotta add like a faster leveling, all that stuff. Maybe add another heritage, heritage armor. Something cool out of it, man. Out of season four. I think it'd be great. I think it'd be really, really great. My bucket would have been maxed by now. Yeah, yeah. Alrighty, boys. Thank you so much for coming by, man. I appreciate you. you guys are wonderful, beautiful. It's super, super fun hanging out with all y'all. I'm gonna go get myself uh, a little bit of, a little bit of, maybe snack, a quick snack. And get some work done. Know me, my man. You popped in at the very, very end to update you on everything that happened. We got in to win in P3. P3 is easy. It is piss easy. It's actually ridiculous how easy that part is. As soon as we get into P3 tomorrow, he's dead. And we just gotta make sure everybody's alive. And we gotta do a bit more of a burn in Intermission 2 to get his health lower. But it's so easy. I didn't realize how easy that phase was. It just scales like really, really quickly because uh, you got the stars and they're constantly bouncing. They don't disappear. They just gotta keep bouncing. There's gonna be more of them and more of them, and eventually gonna be overran. The dot damage and all that. And you won't be able to dispel. So it's really like a, a bit of a artificial. Um, it's like a very, very artificial berserk phase. That's when congrats. Thanks, fam. I appreciate it. I really, 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 really appreciate it. We were so close, too. We almost had him. Like 5%, 6% or something it was. Can I see, actually? How do, you, how do I see how low he was? How do I see that pull? Let me look. Let me find it. I, I'll, I won't be able to show you guys the full log. Oh my god, it's in the orange. 4%! Dude, even less than what I said. I said 5 or 6. He said 4! 
Is it four? What are these resources? Hold on, hit points uh, of enemies. And when how many hit points did he have by the end of it, dude? It was it was a four percent. He had uh, what looked like seven million. No, he had definitely less health than that. But it looks like he had like roughly seven million health at the very very end. Damn. It's crazy. Anyway, we come back tomorrow. We slam him. Tomorrow, hopefully, we'll get some announcements about 925 Season 4 or maybe Dragonflight. Maybe we get more talents for Dragonflight. That'd be awesome, dude. That'd be awesome to see. All right, gang. You guys have a wonderful, wonderful evening. I'll see you guys all tomorrow for the regular stream and then hopefully for an Anduin kill. You guys have a beautiful, beautiful evening, boys. Peace.